about go time here. I am going to take a minute to go ahead and grab some coffee. Just gotta wait for the coffee to get going. Sorry if I'm a little bit late coming in here. Don't really expect to be anybody being here right now. Oh, hang on. Yeah. No, I'm gonna like the ear. What the hell? Okay. Well, welcome to Unicorn Brigade Headquarters Company. This is Sergeant Roy Calbeck coming at you, as always. And today we're going to be playing Backbone, which just launched today. I have played the demo previously, and it looked really good, so I went ahead and put it on my wish list. It just launched. Let's find out together whether or not Raw Fury pulls it off the camera. They usually do good work. I'm going to want my coffee to go with this noir story. <laughs> Get the whiskey while I'm at it. What the heck is this? Of course, Windows says, I need a security alert because I don't, I don't know what a game is. Odd being a raccoon in the big city. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Just enough time, huh? Hmm, I seem to have, there we go. Mama, hello. 
Berlin Lotor. Taught me everything I know and spent years trying to unlearn half of it. Well, says I need to uh, get cleaned up, huh? Case files. These are not my case files. Also, why did I pick up a bowl? Dangly feet. Red up. Oh, I must. I was gonna say, is that a juice box? No, those are my cigarettes. Okay. John D. Insurance Fraud, C.O. Green at 4 p.m. Hmm. See the most interesting part of my case files. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably have been some of these old case files. Well, I'm supposed to be getting cleaned up, right? And back to the desk. else to really interact with here looks like is there anything else I have the impression this is a fast travel board and I don't want to click on anything I shouldn't ah Pianetti you beautiful dangerous renegade you maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again most of the food has grown because you know when you're busy and people are calling you and they're about to meet with you 27 on the buzzer then uh, yeah you want to go over the town map and make sure that you remember where everything is must have been some hard drinking last night cramped tenement blocks full of neglected souls Labor district, that's where stuff gets made. Doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad life, really, isn't it? Docks. Where all the fishing boats hang out. All the fishing boats hang out with their sails afloat. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars, too. Granville, where the night comes to life. Rough edges, but it feels like home. Lower middle class field. It's not gas town, but it's respectable enough. I grew up there on the border with West End. So like right here then. Vale town. Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. Not been there for a long time. Yeah, of course it'd be right on the riverfront. Home to the high and mighty. Skyscrapers full of apes. Big shots. Skating communities. They can keep it. Ah, Gastown, that's the dream. Well, if you're a bourgeois snob who dreams of overpriced salad, it is nice and clean, though. That's a lot to recommend things, isn't it? So it's like Labor District. Very small area. And here's the docks where the stuff that you would actually produce would go, right? So, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's that well laid out of a town. But hey, it is what it is, living in this town. Living in this town. With these people in this place. This very unique place. Got ahead of Frankie to fix it, but I have cash, so uh, never. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Oh, there's a trash pan to need with soap. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soup. And of course, you want those photo developers right next to the wide open window. Speaking of which, I already get tired of this view. Yeah, I don't know. I can probably get tired of it pretty quickly. Place dishes. So. Your bathroom sink is where you do the dishes. I guess you'd have to. I don't see anywhere else that has any running water. And yeah, toilet. There we go. Toilet books. This is a book about a toilet. No. The 
the great apes, the great story, swell toilet read. Okay. So, uh, I'm supposed to get freshened up, but when the call came in, I was actually in the tub, wasn't I? Place chemicals. I must have hit something wrong there. No, not back. This is going to be an ongoing issue, isn't it? Where I've got two items popping up. Okay, place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> yeah, sure. Must be Mrs. Green. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. At your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day going? Hmm, well, that's me. You were vague before, so tell me everything, Mrs. Green. Object, please. If it's a matter I'd like to be discreet about. last long in this game with a loose tongue. I wanted a professional, and you came highly recommended. That's good to know. So, what's the trouble? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Have you tried to talk to him about it? Yes, but it gets difficult. Like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of this infidelity. I need it for the court. Well, tell me about the affair. What do you need to know? Well, uh, what made you think he's not faithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant and kind of herbal steak. How uh, late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up, has he been aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Lotor. That personal details could make or break a case. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I'm an investigator. I know what better what's required for the case. It's none of your business. Let's move on. Are you filing for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Uh, your husband will want the kids? I, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now. It's the kids, Adette. I really need every edge I can get. He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Yes, I'm finally being brave, for them at least. Well, let's nail this bastard. I'm taking the case. Chef, what do you need to know? Well, what does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an author, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Hmm. Uh, full name, any aliases? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Hmm. And uh, where will I usually find him? Usually at work or home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. He doesn't like my coffee anymore. Uh, have you met any of his friends? Nobody's mentioned a few guys, says they get together after work sometimes. And where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. Uh, any way I would pick him out of a crowd? 
He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Uh, that should be enough. It's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Ah, uh, yes, plus any unexpected expenses. Please be careful. No one can know we spoke. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. I understand. I'll get started immediately. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Dad. All right. Raccoon Boys on the case. Just want to make sure if there's anything else I may have missed. Ah, I don't recall seeing that lit up before. My diploma project, Places of Absolute Solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools leaving places they shouldn't be in. Well, if it pays the bills. Now, let's see. Probably going to need to find my camera, which is right there, if that is what I think it is. Looks like a camera with a strap, yes. Apparently, I can't just grab that, so... Uh, presumably, I would need a camera. Elliot Graham said it best, enlightening account on the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects, essential. Among many great stories, the great story stands out as the gripping yet edifying tale of our tenacious leaders and their crusade to usher in an era of prosperity for the city and its citizens. And I guess that's it. That actually runs it all the way out. I forgot that there were a number of things that you could interact with multiple times. Obviously not the media. I guess that's the bed there. That's a hell of a bed. Considering it looks like the light is directly above you, it must be offset. Okay, just says the same thing over and over. Granville, that's where we're going. Where night comes to life. Got rough edges, but it feels like home. All right. Looks like we're heading to Granville then. you weren't aware. Donovan's cock. Oh, cocktails. Okay. Granville. Smells like wet concrete. Overpriced fast food. Butte. That kind of battleground. Squirrel. No moose. Hanging outside a lawyer's office. For some reason, I could tell that some mook across the street was watching me through a window that got slicked with rain time to time. Yeah, I get it. Don't want to just run people over, though. Citizen Maine. I love these old films. Furman and Sons. Natalie. Do I know this guy? I know him by name, apparently. The day I bought a bike. Citizen Maine, Johnny and John Don't Drive. The Great Story, shown every day at 11 a.m. Hmm, what do we have here, Rogue? They did a great job restoring the Rogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Or maybe... It would be, because they'd be sad about the movies. Who knows? So, 
Anatoly. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you doing up to on a fine evening like this? Uh, hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? You know, I have a terrible memory for faces, but hey, want to hear a great story? Yeah, sure. So my wife, Estrella, and I, bless the shepherd, we got a second lad on the way. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, he's a big one, too. Essie is as round as a watermelon. Hey, anyway, the story ain't tell her. <laughs> Women, you get any bigger and I won't fit you into the trunk of the car. <laughs> funny. And so <laughs> she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. Oh, boy, women, man. Yeah, women. Women, mysterious creatures, they love bread. So we break the news to our boy, Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, bro, what is it? Dare I ask what you told him? So I told Mama and Papa worked out, so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. Oh, that's a rare chance for sure. Sure is, little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Ah, oh, Daddy! We're gonna be so happy. Me and baby bro will play all the time. I say, sure, son, but here's the catch. Oh, there's a catch. You and mama gonna have to look after him because two babies mean zero daddies because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Ha 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 ha. Ah, well, that got depressing fast. You okay? I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what did you say you were doing here? I'm looking for a guy. Here's a picture. You seen him ever? Yeah, yeah, I'd seen him. Feral old laughs kind of guy. Smelled really bad. Uh, took him back from the bite a couple times. Hmm. Oh, he smelled. What exactly? Ah, uh, you know, poopy kind of smell. Still booze and perfume, herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Ah, uh, did you have a talk? Did he mention anything that seems strange? Nah, he's too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell did enough talking for both of us. Yeah! So, uh, any idea where he'd be now? I uh, guess the bite is as good as, uh, guess as any. It's a goofy place, though, eh? Yeah, well, thanks, Anatoly. You're the detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Hey, take care, my man. Bye. Okay, that was useful. Hey, look, this dog's playing poker, isn't it? Cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Dr. Cyclops. Northern tickets, huh? Apparently you can't buy a ticket here. Eden Simmons at Bite Club. Hottest new jazz stars here tonight, only at the Bite. A little help can go a long way at the bank. What's that say, say now? Looks like it says, Kate now, return later. Or, must be take now, return later. What bank? Is this for green words? Oh, you got a banker here? It's closed. Hmm. Yeah? Folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? It's just around. And who are you? Yeah, Wallace, asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Two me both, pal. And Derek, good luck getting him back anytime soon. Oh, he'll pay if I can find him. Seen him today? Of course, but the whip left, left to work early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. Eh. Now, something happened at work? Or his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Where do you think he headed? What say you, boys? Home to this nagging bitch of a wife to the gutter where he belongs. Only apes know. Yeah, what, did you spend time with him outside work or something? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. Ah, oh, the bite. Could he be there now? How the fuck will I know? Now skedaddle, Rack. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, so the guy just got fired. That's kind of interesting. Grilled fish, shrooms, and veggies. I'd actually like to get some of that. Wolf Bank. 
that's hmm. A bank that's down on its luck that can't keep its own sign intact is not necessarily doing real well. Yeah, what do we have here? The bite shirt and the angry I can't tell. She has dream. Hey there, Hank. Luscious. $14.99 for a trim. I'll stick to the mirror, a pair of scissors, and a large whiskey. Ah, crap. Downey's on duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Check out the alley back here. Got some poor strung out bastards here. Stay vigilant, huh? Stay vigilant. Is that is that cool cat? Is that a cool cat reference? Yes, yes, no, no. Sassoletti, haha, I don't get it. Art is. Can't freaking read that. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be cool, cat. Yeah, he's good with the kids. Hey, friend. My, uh. Fellow wreck. Howard! Well, I'll be damned, it's been a while. Well, Larry, the one and only, been too long, what's going on, old man? Yeah, who are you calling old, you old rascal? Yeah, all right, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Who really expects to see anyone in the back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? I'm still a private detective. I'm happy for you. My own gig went downhill a while back. Sorry to hear. You seen an auto guy named uh, an auto guy around here recently? What do you do? I eh, can't tell. Client confidentiality. Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? About my height, chubby. Wears a green hat. Haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. Hear often and hear people talk. Thanks. I'll catch you later. Bye. Actually. I'll be back when I Okay, so I don't get the opportunity to ask him if this is where he lives now. I didn't want to assume, although it's pretty obvious. Alright. Looks like hitting up the bite is about the only thing I'm really going to be able to do here. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. Hey there, Hank. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Understandable. Have a great day. Mm, don't know. Guy seems all business. And I don't actually have this. If he were to check up on that, then I could be in deep shit. So, uh... Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. It could write up as a business expense. I'd be more careful with my mouth if I were you, tiny striper man. All right, see ya. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Hmm. Fur trimming, back scratching, oiling and conditioning, claw clipping. All, of, all the necessities, you know? Well, hmm, stay vigilant, huh? Alec, come over here, boy! Uh, hi, Downey. Hey, boyo, got yourself a job yet? I have my own PI agency. 
And what are you investigating, detective? It's confidential. Yeah, sure. Called your mom recently? I did, actually. Lying! Again! I talked to her this morning. You haven't called in weeks. And what's it to you? We're basically family. Maybe one day you'll learn what that means. Or else what? Or else I'm gonna hug you to death. Come over here! Maybe later I have to go. Come on, when do we last catch up? Have you seen my shiny new honor badge? It's, uh, real shiny. Atta boy. That's what Lydia said. She does love me. Maybe too much. Good for you. Yeah, it's not easy, though. Gotta run. Bye. Okay, so you're just shooting the shit with him for a bit. Quico Mart. Old owner is still heading to, still tending to the shop. You should say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time. Or this time, since you're here in the area. Mackenzie and Sons Limited. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Yeah, that's probably legit. Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, memories. Ah, uh, Amber Coon, it's garbage, so I, I have to check. Aha! A ticket to the bite. Thanks, Trash Bin. And here's Bo. Hey, Bo, what do you know? Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news. Hey, uh, anything good happening for a change? For a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. Front pages today are all great ape parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Well, how's business? Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free, and damn hawkers don't help any. Hawkers? You know, peddlers, they haul their rickety ass stands around. Assling folks and all with no permit. Well, the police booth is right there. I've tried reporting them. By the time an officer gets here, the hawkers are smoke. Damn their nimble little legs. So, why does it bother you so much? No permit means they can undercut all this businessmen like myself. They're criminals. Yeah, gotcha. I better go then. Yeah, you go. I'm busy. That rodent hawker will be arriving any minute now. I need to make sales. Ah, uh, cheer up, Bo. You have at least one loyal customer. Well, how about you buy something then? I've got nibbles, fizzy drinks, something for everyone. I actually just remembered I gotta run. I'll try to come by later, though. Oh, loyal customer on my ass. Get out of here! Excuse me. Bye, Bo. Bye, Bo. Deedly do. Yeah, what's it say up there? Dr. Chimp's gold shit digging shovel. Only $29.99. <laughs> Get your own wireless, what's it say? Get your own wireless communicator at Jet Skis. Limited amount. I thought it said mail, hail the great apes. All right, I actually thought there was something around here I could climb. Guess not. Well, I got a ticket to the bite. Actually, let's see about uh, talking to Downey about the guy's problem. Don't cause any trouble, young man. I'm not even used to the. <laughs> I'm not even using the correct accent for him. Oh, hey there, Mr. Bear. I have the ticket right here, and you can kiss my derriere. <laughs> what is this? Ha <laughs> you're a funny little fella. So can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so no, but thanks for a good laugh. Hey, you want to hear another joke? 
No, don't test my patience. Oh, Baron and Raccoon walk into a bar. Fuck off! Yeah, you're no fun. Bye. Okay, so Tiki no worky. Hmm, not with him anyway. Do I have... Hang on a second. Okay, inventory. that I had to hit arrow keys or something. All right, full of whatever the newspaper wants people to be angry about. A picture of Odette's probably unfaithful husband, but we're not sure. Hmm. So now I have a paper and a picture and no ticket because the jerk took it. Let me know if you need a ride, okay? And I guess he's the taxi guy then. Yeah, what's with this character anyways? Yo, old man! How's it going, fella? Just hanging, what's up with you? Yeah, I'm tracking someone for a case. Okay, now we're talking. What'd the guy do? Murder arson? Or, uh... And nothing. <laughs> I'm not gonna insult the guy's freaking jack. Yeah, he's just missing. Man, that's a letdown. Who's the chump? That's under a client detective confidential. Then why would I be asking him? Oh, tell me later then. Take a look at this photo. Have you see, there you go. I was expecting to show him the photo. Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Okay, be a dick then. See ya. Gonna let me out of here. So probably gotta head back to the alley. Actually, having played through this before, at least at the uh, during the demo, I have a pretty good idea where I do need to go. But things may have changed a bit for the release. So I'm just gonna check a few things here. Let's see. Anything in this garbage? Come on, a raccoon. I can find things in garbage. I just did find something in garbage. It just didn't matter. Hmm, kind of expecting to see the guys, see that hawker somewhere. Nope, no hawker showing up yet. Hmm. All right, so it's got to be the alley then. And it's about this time that I can smell the coffee. Yes. I just let that nice smooth background music play as I grab myself a cup of joe. coffee black bitter and bold like my last girlfriend she is a fiery mare from the east side of town that's the good side of town usually until it's not the good side of town more on that some other time hey Larry I got a lead but the bouncer won't let me in a tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in here. You said you guys are not her? That's weird. Any ideas? Let's see. Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. Ah, oh, Howard. You may have been able to pass as a cat, but even then you'd be ugly. In all seriousness, I need that. 
Now, what you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Well, who's Johnny? He said, Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal is with the bike, but they're chummy. Yeah, what kind of stuff does he push? Yeah, your typical, like, hype and shatterfang. I get this. He started rolling with something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. <laughs> Monkey Butt? Yeah, word is that his new thing's a shit. I suppose that's why they would call it Monkey Butt. Though, perhaps a little bit less figuratively than one might wish. Uh, stanky thing. Yeah, does it have kind of an herbal stink? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. <clears throat> Alright, you think this Johnny guy would help out then, huh? Yeah, it might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line as clients, I think. Well, what do you know about the bite itself? Owners of Bloodworth. Lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. What, the Bear family? Crime family. Last year, head of the family up and died. Shit hit the fan. Now, the heir ended up in prison. And the current owner's a relative, I take it? Yeah, she's the illegitimate daughter or something. Oh, what are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. Now she's got name for a lover, or she was the one who got all the other skills that she could take over. All right, hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite. Thanks. Now, you got it, Howard. The welcome distraction, really. See you soon. Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Let's just see if there's anything else going active here. That's probably not the smartest thing to check out right now. Anything else back here? Nothing. Run, Racky, run. Well, I know where the Squirrel Boy is. Let's go reopen negotiations. Hey. Yo, old man. Uh, you Johnny? Who's asking? Name's Wallace. What do you want, Waldo? There's the deal, monkey butt. The fuck? Where'd you get that stupid idea, Striper? Just remember going around? Will you help me out or not? Look, old man, you couldn't handle that stuff even if I did have it. But you do know where to get it. Just square things between me and the bouncer. That just came out of left field. This guy doesn't know anything about me trying to get into the bite. Hank doesn't let any old chump in for good reason. Say I make you simpatico. What does Johnny get in return? I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite, and I'll owe you one. You shouldn't me? Prove it, punk. Look at me. I am a raccoon in a trench coat. Yeah, so all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone, cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama, too. The trench coat is just a final pitiful cherry on top of a crap cake. Weird hearing that from a fellow with so much fur gel that he literally sticks to the wall, don't you find? Shut your mouth, or I'll shove you, shove you down, I'll stuff your trash tail in it. At least my mother isn't busting her gut in the farmlands. Fuck you. I'll get you in, but only so you overdose and get eaten alive by feral geese. Meet me at the entrance, fool. How the hell did that even work? You actually gotta shit talk the guy in order to get in? Alright. Yo. So, talk to the bouncer. What you waiting for? Here's Johnny! Hey, Johnny, oh, you brought my favorite customer, Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Yeah, thanks. So, that actually worked. <laughs> Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies, all a little too high end for my taste. Hey there, Renee, what do you say? Colby, how do I even know these people's names? Me 
Ingrid. Listen to the music. Let's uh, start from the back of the room and head forward again. Hey, Renee, what do you say? Well, you're unusual. Not unlike that greeting. Touche, Renee Wilson. Wallace, pleased to meet you. That's a fake name. You're too young for Wallace. Calling it, that's a line. You would have said that no matter what name. Investigative journalist. It's a living, usually. So, have you seen an odder gentleman here tonight? Okay. One other card. I wanted to see if you'd seen an odder gentleman tonight, and then you skipped out. Okay, just shut it down, why don't you? Hmm, writer and journalist. Hey there, you here for Eden Simmons' show too? I'm so happy to see her live finally. Hmm, haven't heard of her before. That's a nice sound though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. Does she play her often? Eh, from time to time, I like the place. It's very classy, and the food is great. Oh, you've been here before? <laughs> nah, my mom doesn't approve of the place. I had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. Well, how come, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, I don't think she'd step foot in a bar her entire life. They're all sleazy dens in her head. Well, it sounds like it was worth it. It's good music. Yeah, <laughs> they can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. Wish I could. Say, have you seen an odder gentleman tonight? Here's his photo. Let me see. I think I saw someone like that walk in. That was his hat green. Oh, yes. And so was his tie. I thought that was funny. All right. Did you see where he... Uh, did he have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. See where he went? Talked to the lady in the jade colored dress and then went upstairs, I think. Oh, thanks. Enjoy the show. All right. Audrey, apparently a fan of, well, you know, there's so much background neon there that I almost can't make out the singer. But it looks like a good design. Isn't this too dreamy? Well, you sure are. 
God, I love this music. Wanna dance? Sorry, no. Can you at least answer a couple questions? Not really, leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you, have a pleasant evening. I kind of figured that would go bust. Jade Dress. And who would that be? Ingrid. Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? In here? How could I not be? We aim to please. So you work here? Sure, honey, but not for the likes of you. Uh, for the VIPs, then? For a certain class of customer. Dedicated ones. And uh, what does dedication earn? You tell me. Better bet. Better yet, come back when you know. I'm actually here to meet with a friend. A touching day regular. Jeremy, he's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Green tie, green hat, glasses. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? For drinks. You could try asking the bartender or Miss Bloodworth. Buy you a drink while I'm at it? If you insist, watch your poison. Surprise me. I'll try. Sure, why the hell not? Hey, bartender. Apparently don't give me a drink. Hey there, Hank, again. Well, if I can't actually order a drink from the bar, I guess I'll talk to Clarissa, because I don't think Hank will get me anywhere. You look a little lost. It's that obvious? I'm exactly where I need to be. How confident. I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? Nope, just trying something new for a change. How's that working out for you? Pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation, at least. The feeling is mutual. So, to whom do I owe the pleasure? Ladies first. Ah, uh, so you like to be the one in control. I can assure you that won't work in our relationship. Okay, the name's Wallace. Pleasure's mine. And what do you do for a living, Wallace? I work at a publishing house. Do you read much? Voraciously, as for me, the name's Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Oh, allow me to say you've got a very cozy place here. Thanks, I do strive to offer a sophisticated experience here. And you excel at it. Say, uh, what would you say really stands out here? Folks say that our chef's special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? Ah, I was looking for an outer gentleman named of Jeremy Green. Know him? I think that might be a little bit too on the nose. I'm just here to meet a friend. Is that so? More of a regular than you? Sure is. Always talking the place up. What's his name? If he's here tonight, I'll know. Letting her ask the question means that I can slide it in easy. Uh, Jeremy, last name Green. Otter. Boring but nice type. And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink? Yeah, we got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, darling, I think you're lying to me. co-workers we agreed to meet here well we're not co-workers that's your prerogative i guess mr wallace if that is your real name playing quite clearly doesn't suit you and it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment i suggest you take your business elsewhere no what did i do sorry darling that's how the world works sometimes you don't understand things and they still happen to you perhaps we'll be seeing each other again have a great night. Well, if you say so. Goodbye, Clarissa. I was hoping to see the bartender so I could get a drink for the lady, but nope. Guess I've been tossed. Clarissa Bloodworth, what's her deal? I need to find another way in. Hmm. Check back with Larry. How'd it go? Did you find him? I got kicked out. Oh, Howard... How'd you manage that? I think I poked the bear. 
The bouncer? I met Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh man, what did you do? If she's upset, you better get used to watching your back. Uh, that's what I figured. How do I get back in there? Now hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. And you told me you had no first-hand experience with monkey butt. People don't change, Larry. Dot, dot, dot. Look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. No, you're right. Probably reek of the stuff, too. Listen, I'm no one to judge. I'm just trying to explain. Don't explain things to me, Howard. I'm happy to help. But this is where we draw the line. I hear you. How do I get back in? The truck over there just arrived and some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard voices coming from the roof, so they must have a door up there. Yeah. So we've got the door on the rooftop. Well, most of these buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get on the roof? Is there a fire escape? You can give me a lift. Nah, no fire escape, and the bite is too high. Are there any smaller structures you can climb first? The press stand! Whoa there, that could work. Start with the press stand. Go to McKenzie and proceed along the roofs, but you should know... Bo's kind of a dick nugget. That is the most accurate description of Bo I have heard in my life. You're welcome. Anyway, I'd suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. So, uh, what about the back door? They have a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up, and if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. Any clue on how it become, could become someone they're expecting? No idea. They use a, co a code, you're the detective, not me. Well, thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. Yeah, it hit a, uh, hit a, a tough spot there. Oh, Florence. Wow, you look... You look edgy. What you looking at? Uh, you alright? I'm fine. What's to you, anyway? You don't look fine. I'm just trying to help. Florence, right? Read it on a tag. I wondered how I would know. Piss off! I told you, I'm not leaving till I get her back. Uh, get who back? Are you looking for someone? <laughs> right, make like you don't know. Not fooling me, no, sir. I'm on to you. I'm not moving from the spot until you let me talk to my daughter. I, are you looking for your daughter? I'm no fool. I know she's in there, but she doesn't want to talk to me. No, that's, that's not... They won't let me see her. Uh, listen, I mean you no harm, you just look like you could use some help. Well, maybe if I could, if you're really not. So, what happened to your daughter? She's in that filthy... I've been coming for days, but they say they won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it! Oh, what's she doing in there? Kid decides she's gonna make it all on her own, lands herself in a whorehouse. Stupid! Oh, they're drugging her, I know it. They won't let, me, they won't let her see her own mother, my poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What she look like? Great fur, name's Rosie. Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20. If they heard a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm gonna burn this hive to the ground. Alright, how are you so sure she's still in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. Well, you're a rabbit. Maybe that's true. So she's been visiting the bite before? Told me she was waitressing, but I asked her around. This hole serves drugs and sleaze. When did I see her? Two, three weeks ago. We had a fight. So you fought about her job at the bite? That was the last time you saw her? What about it? Nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Thanks. Tell her I'll be waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. Hmm. You tried to get in? How did that work? Well, I've been coming some days, right? I've seen the cider truck before. Guys say this phrase into the intercom and they let him in. What's the code? I memorized it word for word. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Uh, you know of any other way in? Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. No, I heard voices on the roof, but how'd you get there? All right, thanks for helping me out. I better go look for a way in then. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her. Please. Take care. All right. Let's see about the truck itself. It's a delivery truck. The door is open. Now break in. Cardboard boxes, smells like rust, weird looking recording device on the dashboard. Compartment seems to be unlocked. A 
couple of newspapers, documents, it looks like invoices or checks. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods LLC. Most recent purchase spoke the happening today. Two newspapers for October and September. They don't look like anybody was reading through them. Epidemic continues. Geese may be spreading disease. Or it says, it says geezers may be spreading disease here. And then over here, it's geese. Okay, vicious wall attack. Leaves three defenders wounded. Wall attack. Let's see about the device. Voice recording device hardwired into a dr truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. Hmm. Select dates from the invoices and newspapers. That sounds good. 22 September, 9th October. Second, got three packages for you. Geese, damn you, I can't fit that many. We expected you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I'll leave. And for 10-9, we have five packages ready for pickup. Three is all I can fit in the trunk. You're four hours late, leave me alone. It's in a Q&A situation. Hmm. Alright. Now I'm curious as to that vent there. Three packages is all I can fit in the truck, huh? They had five at one point. Actually, let me take a look back here. Don't shame. All right. Somehow I don't think that talking straight into the intercom to bullshit my way in will work. It didn't work for her. Headache has been trying to kill me. Suddenly, I can't talk to the uh, the cop, the cop that I know. Oh, we got a hawker here, don't we? Feeling peckish? I've got sweet and savory. You can mix and match, make your own trail mix. How about it? Oh, do you have unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course, got salted and unsalted. Each baggie's worth a half loon, but I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. I'll have one. Hey, you hang around Granville often? I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? I need to find a way into the bite. Fancy jazz bar. I assume you try the front door. I got kicked out through the front door. Oh, uh, maybe there's a back door? I really don't know the place very well. Sorry. You're itching to ask something. Go ahead. Um, why'd you get kicked out, sir? <laughs> got into an argument that turned into a fight. Why are you trying to get back in? Sounds like trouble. Left my keys inside. No, met someone special and they're inside that bar. Oh, what a love story. I love love. Tell you more if you tell me how to get in. And sorry, sorry, I really wish I could help. I would if I could, I swear. But I was being truthful before. I don't know a way to get in. Uh, ever been on the rooftops? Uh, no, sir. Wish I could be more help, but I've never been up there myself. I don't know. Oh, no problem, kid. Thanks. 
Of course, sir. Can I offer you some seeds? Eh, no thanks. See ya. I just bought some. Now watch. Bo's gonna be pissed. Back so soon. Um, I was going for I was going for slob, wasn't I? Back so soon, what now? Hey Bo, I was hoping you could help me out. I don't know, I'm quite busy. Well, you alright? You sound irritated. Sorry, I'm just, it's been a slow day to begin with, and now that hawking rodent stealing out my regulars. Wait, who's stealing your customers exactly? That stinking Pico with the cart. By the closed door. Hey, he's just a kid, why is he a problem? This rodent on the wheels doesn't have to worry about allowance, rent, or utilities. He sells his nibbles dirt cheap and poaches my business. Sure, he's evading allowance though. How else would someone profit off of those prices? Well, why don't you tell the police? I've already asked this before, but. And leave the stand unattended while they make me do paperwork for hours? Yeah, so what do you want me to do about it? I want that damn rodent off Granville. Can you take care of that? It's not really my style though. Scratch back, mine yours. Ah, uh, you're lucky I'm desperate. Wish me luck. Because I don't think he's going to let me on top of the uh, stand without that. Hey, kid. Uh, listen, I have a strange favor to ask. Hey, Sid. There we go. Not quite. I think it's more personal. What's up? Uh, could you leave Granville at least for tonight? Uh, I'd rather not. Thing is, Granville's a great sales spot this time of night. Yeah, Bo wants you off his turf. Oh, well, of course he does. He thinks we're rivals, well, screw him. What do he promise you? Remember I asked you about the rooftops? What has that got to do with anything? I found a way, but Bo won't let me go through until you leave. I'm being honest. Righto, I have a business proposition for you. What if we got rid of Bo instead? How about Mo? You got a seller's permit? Why do you want to know? You're not a cop. Allowance evasion is a pretty serious crime, but I'm on good terms with a cop or two. Yeah, right. I know you're just trying to scare me off. It isn't going to work. Look, I don't want to get you in trouble, kid, but I will. Get off my belt, old git! Yeah, that's not gonna work. Will you move if I smash that card of yours into little pieces? That would get me in trouble with the cops. You are very small, I'm very... I don't like any of these. Fine. I'll tell Mom. You better start moving now. I'll move for now, but you'll be a bully forever. Shepherd knows. I really should have just reported him to the cop. Not that it seems like the cop would do a damn thing. Hey. Well, what happened? Let's just say he won't be bothering you for a while. Howard, what did you do? I asked him to help, and he's agreed. He's a good kid. Agreed, you sucker. I bet you anything he's back tomorrow with a vengeance. You're useless. Here I had you pegged for the honest type. I don't go back on my word, but I'll know better than to humor you next time. What, were you looking for a permanent solution? Really kind of don't like that, because as far as I'm concerned, the kids, uh, who's the top dog now, Foxy Burger? Suck it! Because honestly, I don't have anything against somebody trying to make his way in the world. Now, if he is here illegally, that's something else, and I would have preferred to go the, hey, you know, we're, we're uh, talking to the cops business. Hmm. Can I? 
Okay, there we go. That doesn't look like he got up high enough to actually make a legit jump. Okay, let's crouch. Man, what a view. Guess there are benefits to risking your life on rain slick rooftops. Speaking of which. Ah, uh, boom, there we are. Don't mind me, boys. What boys? Ah, the pigeons. Hey, what's it to ya? Am I a joke to you? Ah, I just said you're funny, that's all. What, funny? Funny, funny like a clown, huh? Yeah, funny like a clown. That's it! Wish I could just stay here. Maybe the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. What, out here in the rain? Totally unaffected. I, I know you're a raccoon. Um, I know you're wearing a trench coat, but still. Okay, so... I guess I have to be standing to drop down. All right, Green, after all that, you better be in here, you bastard. Okay, I think I need to save here, if that's even possible. I don't think it is. Room. Thank Shepard, it's empty. Okay, no turning back now. More Margo Moore. Everywhere right now. Fierce lady, not really my type though. She yeah, she looks a little catty to me. Happy birthday, Rose. Oh, so this is Roses. Hope they gave you a day off. Candies. Various whatnot. Anything else here? Ah, here we are. Nicely wrapped gift. Mine usually came in a recycled newspaper. Come on, Howard, you can do this. You're doing this. Nope. Some honey for your tea. Mom swears by Greg. Who's Greg? Nice fella. I'm behind something because I'm in shadow there. Okay, yeah. I have a feeling that guy, yep, there he is. Is he going the other way or does he go that way? Maybe he left something behind that could help a debt. There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How did I get there? I have a pretty good idea I know how. Green hat. Now where's the rest of them? Herbs? Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a blood. Alright. What the? Secret lift? Yeah! There we go. I think I can squeeze in now that I particularly want to, but can't afford to be picky. That's a grim looking furnace, or are they burning in here? Hmm, looks like the guests of the bite are eating well. Forward. Greg, the inventory was off again. I catch you stealing food. I'll chop off your grabby little fingers. 
took honey. Oh, that's Greg taking the honey, stealing from the kitchen to hit on one of the girls. What a guy, what a guy. An open vent, I could fit through it if I crouch. No? Intercom there, I'm pretty sure would be for something like calling this guy away. Can I hide behind anything? Dial the kitchen. Yo, this is the kitchen. What do you need? If that's Greg, no, I'm not making you a snack. You suck. Who is this? Don't you fucking move. Well, I'm gonna fucking move. Oh, shit. That's not going to work a second time. Too damn bad. Fail, don't get caught. Okay, that's... I, I thought that was going to be the thing. Ah, there you go. So it does work, it just doesn't show up again. You suck. Don't you fucking move. Alright, well... Go, go, go. There he goes. Here I goes. Maybe that'll slow him down when the guy comes back, huh? Greg, the turnkey is missing here. It better be here when I get back. Inspect locker. Oh! recall this. Now what's this? Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe.
Okay, wait. It goes over the thing that it actually fits. So that'd be this map. Alright. Okay. What is that? This must be a zero? Oh, I see the square. That, there's that matchup. That's just supposed to be an up marker. A zero, I'm pretty sure. Four. Oh, whoa, what's this here? Circle diamond triangle, that'd be the triangle. This would be the square, so that'd be zero. Circle, probably that four. This says diamond, which would have to be this. It just says five. It's the only number on it. Here's a family favorite, Ape's Delight. And then triangle, V1A. Yes. Seems like a giant yes. Take a look around first in the dark. A look around in the dark. That's brilliant. Mm, doesn't look like there's anything else here. So. Oh my fucking what? It's a naked dead otter. Fucking Jez? The, or the corpse offers you no help. This is Jez Green. I found him. The pieces fit. Not all the pieces are in him. It's Odette Green's husband lying here. Try to ascertain cause of death. Body shows no obvious signs of violent death. Just a naked, dead, slightly overweight otter. 
Maybe they overdosed him? Body lies here. Still, it is there dead. Probably murdered recently. Sniff the body. What used to be Jeremy smells like stale booze and cheap cologne held together by a stringent herbal stink. That's enough. I'm out of here. Somebody is coming. Well, there should be... Damn it. Ah, here we go. Disguise. I'm hiding in the box. And Grit here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Okay. Coming. Still working on a cut. Let me just put some keys there. Turn key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Sorry, Jez, even if you didn't deserve this, nobody does. Let's get as sneaky meeky as we possibly can. anything else back there I needed to mess with at all. Escape! I don't need to escape. I've got laundry. And I guess there's nothing to do but escape. him. Dispose of the body or something worse than that. Now the guy was talking about making a cut. Is the bite serving people's flesh? They were dismembering corpses and putting them into boxes. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Fuck! Oh no, no, don't remember the smell. Focus on the alcohol. What the fuck am I gonna do? This is so, so fucked. Why Jess? What did he do? Could he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? And what if he's not the first? How many people has Bloodworth killed? The guy seemed like a harmless loser. In any case, what could you do to deserve being butchered? Impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. Uh, I have a duty to do something. But what the fuck can I do on my own? to stop anyone else being butchered like that. Great idea. Just ask Carissa Bloodworth nicely. I'm sure she'll understand my concern. Could spread the word. Contact the paper. Go back. Get some evidence. I was lucky to make it out the first time. I'm not going back in there. I can't. This might be the most important case I've ever had. But is it worth the risk? What am I going to tell a debt? Truth might be too harsh for her. I like how it doesn't give you the option to tell the truth. Your husband was butchered in the basement of some sleazy bar I was there. Fuck no, Howard. Lie. Tell her he ran off with someone. Drag it out. Sam's still looking for him. I have no idea why he was killed. Maybe I'll find her some proper answers. Colored wing it. 
Maybe it's for the best that he's gone. I should tell police. Is that really gonna work? Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. No way she's doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. And what would I even tell them? Hi, I broke into private property. I'd like to report a butchering. They'd probably arrest me for trespassing and ignore the rest. So police are out of the question. They don't want to answer the question. I don't want to answer the questions they'd ask. Think I would think. I have no clue what to do. I'm useless. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. <laughs> and no real choice there. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Ah, uh, got myself a bottle already, huh? Not much to it, though. Looks like it was wine. All right. Fuck this. Now I'm into a part of the game I've never seen before. The Burning Park. Wishing well. Someone's been using this as a public toilet. Not sure flipping a coin would help. That's pretty nasty. The Burning Park. Remember the Great Fire. As before my parents' time, burned up bridges, whole districts destroyed in the war. Shit, maybe we deserve to burn. War, huh? What do these symbols mean? They look deliberate, not just mindless vandalism. And then you've got this scratched in drawing down here. A figure with her tail chopped off? Weird. Or is it? Why would they have their tail chopped off? Weird. Now what's this? Mm, not quite a hash mark. Two by three. A circle. And an extended diamond. Hmm. Well, it looks like somebody's burning. Guess I'll die here. Hey, Looney, how's it going? How do I know your name? You really necked that juice, friendo. Rough night. Oh, you got any more? Sure you've not had enough? Not nearly enough. Whatever happened, you may as well make a peace with it, I guess. Peace? Society's rotting from the inside. Always has been, eh? But welcome to the club, I guess. Eh, can I ask you something? Eh, sure. As long as you make it nice and easy. Take it nice and easy. I got a calm spot going here. Uh, you see those symbols on the plaque? Yeah, I see them. Streety symbols, not drawn by me, mind you. Uh, you know what they mean? More or less. Most of them are dumb tags or simple messages. Yeah, what do the plaque ones mean? That it's not safe here and you better watch yourself? Not sure about the stick figure with no tail. Might be some cult shit. Cult? The new Don Fellowship? Nah, it wouldn't be them. I think someone less dangerous but more religious, almighty shepherd deniers, perhaps. Well, can you blame him? One holy dude made all of us, but love apes the best? Fucking bullshit. I don't want to get into it, friend, though. I got today to deal with. Yeah, and I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. I hear that. How'd you end up here? Got injured at work. They let me go. Yeah, what was the job? Worked at this big print works down in Gastown. And you miss it? Listen, friendo, society's a treat, cheap trick. Better get out before it makes you a complete sucker. Yeah. yeah I can trick it right back. 
I'd love to be proven wrong. Bring me a drink when you do. We'll toast to your success. I'll hold you to that. Well, thanks for listening to Washed Up Guys Ramblings. If we ever end up under the bridge together, we'll drink and cry the night away. Eh, what's wrong with drinking and crying together here? Eh, this is not the right vibe. I'm not staying here long anyway. Gotta keep moving. Yeah, my name's Howard, by the way. Mine's Looney. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Always nice to pass the time with a new face. I'm out. Bye. Probably shouldn't have given him my name. Really, I just wanted to see what the reaction would be to that. Well, I see Noreen. Who's this guy? Lilac Bush, huh? Has that some... Yeah, that... Has that same herbal stink to it? What, lilacs? Lilacs. Lilacs have an herbal stink? That's just... That's soap. Then again, maybe to a raccoon's nose, it is a hell of a stink. Then we got this guy here, who's, uh, hi. Gopnik. Hey, pussy boy, let's have a little chat. I'm walking here. Yeah, where you heading? To your mama's place. Say that again, come on. Come on, stab me, I don't care. Ain't gonna be that easy, matey. Now time for Pain City. Get fucked. Okay, Howard Lotor, we're safe here. You can relax. You relax. I'm relaxed. Don't sass me. Let's talk. What about? All right, let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power and influence I'm working on. And why are you interested in Bloodworth? She's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile visitors to the Bight, and more. Uh, so you're an expert on Clarissa. How about drugs? Specifically, monkey butt. Incredibly potent, super addictive. She serves the clean variety at the, at the Bight, and the shittier version is turning up on the streets. That's a stupid fucking name. I think it's smart. Makes you giggle. You tell your friends, then they're curious. Boom. It loosens up the tongue, which for someone like Bloodworth could serve a purpose. What kind of visitors are you talking about? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs in the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been seen there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I don't remember the last time I saw an ape in person. They prefer to stay out of the spotlight these days, but I saw one enter the bite just last week. And what would an ape be doing at the bite? Either having a good time or Bloodworth has some powerful friends. So you're some sort of Bloodworth expert. You could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though, and you have. What's she like up close? Hmm. Smart. She can see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions, so let's move on. Mm-hmm. And who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. So who's the guy? The name wouldn't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good and dish the dirt on his rivals. And are you gonna make him look good? No, Trick will be letting him believe that I have. You always tell it like it is, huh? When the time is right, especially when someone really needs telling. So let me guess, everyone needs telling? 
only the bad guys. The book I'm writing is about power and influence, how they work, how you get them. My end goal is to discern who really holds the most influence in the city. Hmm. Sounds like you're in way over your head. And maybe, but I feel like I could really make a difference with this book. No one has really done this work before. Uh, how'd you find me at the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out, saw you running around, wondered what madness you were up to. Yeah, it was pretty hot under the collar. Anyway, I staked out the back alley just in case. 20 minutes later, bingo, a puking raccoon. Glad you enjoyed the show. And then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Hope it was worth it. But that's up to you. So why am I here? What do you want from me? At first, I want you to trust me like I trusted you just now. Uh, what did you find at the bite? Hmm. I do want to get other people wrapped up in this. From now on, I only trust myself. You want to be a coward? Think you can live your life that way? You wouldn't believe me anyway. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with someone? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. Let's start from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you're a PI. What led you to the bite in the first place? My case. What's the case? Hmm. Client confidentiality. Are you serious right now? I shared some sensitive information with you. Do me the courtesy of trusting me, Howard. I do, just not with everything. Well, that hurts. I just wish you could tell me the whole truth, but please continue. I got into the bite, met Clarissa, she threw me out. Yeah, and what did you say to her? I lied and she caught me. Hmm. So what, you went back? Yes, and that's when I found the dead body. What? Where? In the bite's basement. They were cutting my target up into pieces. What the fuck? Gutting him like a fish. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one body. Are you fucking joking? I'm not much of a joker. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes. Hence the puking. I wouldn't put killing people past her, but this, why? How the fuck would I know? I thought you were a detective. Never mind. I didn't ask for this. I'm not a fucking murder detective. Okay, wow, it really was an eventful night for you. What are you going to do now? I've got to get my shit together. Exactly. Then what's our plan? Uh, since when is it our plan? Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition. And what would that be? I want to invite you on an adventure. Bilbo! Bilbo Raccoon! Trash Panda three feet tall. Okay, no, I'm sorry, Ben. I'm, I'm, no, no. Stop. Literally the worst thing to ever come out of Leonard Nimoy's mouth. Okay, anyways. Oh, I like adventures. So work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. Why am I getting more and more British with her? <clears throat> eh, let's see here. She is, but what can we do? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't, and you owe me one. Uh, good, because we clearly can't trust my gut. I just imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. How much? More than a private detective makes. I'm smart and know her modus operandi. I'll keep you safe. Hmm... You're right, okay. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some? 
but I'm the guest. You do it. And I'm the mastermind pulling the strings, get brewing. Sure, boss. Turn the kettle on. Well, actually, shouldn't I put water in the kettle? Is there just water in it already? Okay, fine. We'll turn the kettle on. Mm, which tea would Renee prefer? Well, this is the thing. I know what I like. I have no idea what she likes. But she's wearing green, so, and appears to be well spoken. So let's go with green minty. Refreshing, clean. <clears throat> I don't know how to feel about her yet. Time will tell. She got under my skin pretty quickly. Yeah, Howard, get a fucking grip. You just met her. Put on the kettle. Coming right up. Boxes, you just moved in. Alrighty. I have a similar one in my office. No good investigator should be without one. Where are we? Docks, not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. Honey, what the hell did I just? Okay. Green tea, thank you. Don't burn your tongue. Way ahead of you. Oof. Ow. <laughs> so I burned my tongue. Okay. So the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the startling cider delivery truck in the bite alley? Yeah, I had to dig around. I think what I'm thinking is that a glass of Starling cider would be nice about not no. The truck smuggles the flesh away. Right. Where are you going with this? What if I told you it's not a really real Starling cider van? What if you told me why? I've seen it a few times while researching the bite. It's a good fake, but you can tell up close. And how'd you know it was a fake? I love their pear cider, don't judge me. And the logo just didn't look right. Up close, the colors were off too. So, where does it deliver to after the bite? Well, luckily, there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. Hmm. But not exactly. No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block that lost it. But I figured out that it spends the night in the Bite Alley before going to Gastown the next day. Oh, I, uh, didn't plan to sleep through tomorrow. It'll be Gastown tomorrow. Yep, you should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. So, it's a stakeout. Sure. But look for where a starling is stocked. It's a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. And that's some good detective thinking, Renee. Thank you. It is a needle in a haystack, but that's all we have for now. Oh, well, it has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. And yeah, we'll figure it out. We will. Together. Fine. I have to call her Odette. Whoever that is, go ahead. The phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to gas town while you're at it. I've got a man for that. Be right back. Yeah, keep smiling. I'm coming for you, you monster. Bloodwork Patriarch found dead. Vancouver? Vancouver? 
Vancouver Harbor. Fat Goose Noodles, order 227555. You know, I'm going to write that down. Chapter 4, Call Editor. The Perimeter. The Perimeter. Well, they said something about a war. Farms, the bite. A butcher shop right in downtown Granville. Uh, I don't think I could go back there if I tried. Unrelated to the case. I wonder what our editor is like. Mm, noodles. Maybe I should not nah, stay focused. Eyes on the pride, Howard. Eyes on the prize. I feel like I should know which ape this is when I'm drawing a blank. Probably one of the top dogs, which doesn't narrow it down by much. Prominent family leader's death ruled as tragic accident. The renowned patriarch is mourned by his closest family, brother Clements and daughter Clarissa. Yeah, I don't buy it. Renee's got her own investigation board set up. At least one of us is organized. All right. Anything else back here? Nope. Okay. Phone. Who are you going to call? Well, I should probably call mom first. Hello to our residence. Hey, mom. Howie, what time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? Mom, I'm fine. I'm just checking in. Actually, Shush, how are you doing, Mom? You don't call for weeks and you want to know how it's going at 5 in the morning. Wow, is it 5 in the morning? Sorry, I've been busy working all that. What work? Do you need money? <laughs> Why, you win big at cards or something? What do you need then? Mom, I'm fine. Stop worrying. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed. Spiders, huh? Big ones? Huge! I'm not panicking, but where are they coming from? You should take a look for me because... Maybe later? I won't call for a week or two. Don't worry, okay? Fine, fine. You never have time for your mother. Maybe you will when I die. Oh, Mom, I love you. Oh, Howie, I love you too. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye-bye, baby! Who are you going to call all dead? Okay, I've, I've made my family, my familial requirements have been met. Let's call Odette. Odette, this is Detective Lotor. Sorry to call so early. Mr. Lotor, my husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? I really want to be honest with her. I have safe now. What? What happened? You must tell me. I'm still his wife. He won't be coming back. You should call the police. Oh, oh, Shepard. Please, just try to move on with your life. Is he, is he not coming back? No, I'm sorry. I have to go. But please, wait. What? Why would I hang up on her? Seriously, why would I hang up on her after that? I didn't even tell her exactly what. Okay, who are you going to call? Anatoly. Tholy! Anatoly! I know who it is. I called you. Is that... Howie, what do you need this early? You want breakfast in bed? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, you're free today. For you always. What's hanging? Yeah, it's a bear or a beach. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, pick me up today at nine. I'm paying for the day. You bet. Howie and Tolly, the dynamic duo of detective boy partners. Crime lords, beware. Yeah, it might be fun, actually. Heck yeah, where I pick you up? One second. Renee, what's the address? Tell him to pick you up outside. Tell him to pick you up outside 1640 Alberni Street. It's a block away. Uh, thanks, totally. 1640 Alberni. You know it? 
so she doesn't want to be tracked back here. Cute. Yeah, the ducks. Wait, Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? I'll tell you later. Can't wait. Gotta run. The poopy land is being cranky. Dad life. See you soon. Drive you soon. Where are you gonna go? Hang up. Alright, so called mom. Let Odette know what was going on, and I was honest with her, at least as honest as the game will let me be. Stare out the window for a bit. Okay, so, start with the truck. Find where it's going. Call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's Odette? Ah, Odette is my client. Elaborate. The one that hired me to snoop on the guy I found dead in the bite, her husband. Oh, poor woman. Anyway, what's my end goal with the truck? Our goal is to confirm if it's smuggling flesh out of the bite where to, and to where or to whom. Anything you learn, report to me. Eh, got it. Need a nap. You can stay here as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back here later tonight. You don't want to stay? No. Call me if you need anything. Be careful out there. Goodbye, Renee. Okay, so yeah, this is a safe house. Pure and simple. So, what's the case? You know I can't tell you, but this one can make a difference, I think. Woo-wee! Uh, love that for you. Time you step your name on the world, H-O-W-A-R-D. And the name of your partner stamped just underneath it. T O L Y. Here we are, Gastown. Shepherd Almighty, what a swanky place. Be cool to live here, huh? Maybe if I sold my kidney. Well, you go on and bother, folks. I'm gonna get some quality and a totally chill time. What's your turn coming? Eh, we'll see. Kick back in the meantime. I'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or paper while you're at it. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, it's so hot and I'm so lazy. Yeah, <laughs> you're telling me. Gas Town! Bum, 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 bum. All right. Wow. In the uh, broad daylight, that is kind of an nasty looking thing. See, <laughs> how do we even fit in there? Service and care. This is cool. This is a whole different part of the game I've never seen. Well, because it's brand new. Furniture store, huh? I need a new couch or any couch. Water 321. What's this? Uncle Lewis's. New something or other. Liquor shop. Wait, this is a liquor store? Starling Cider. Hey there. That'd be Lewis, I take it. A giant tuna. Hey, friend, I am Torta Tuna. I give you for thanks for letting you press my button. Go ahead, press it. Do it. Eggs are very nutritious as well as a great way to decorate your home. Plants emit an ultrasonic sound when injured or under stress. It's like they're screaming. Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. No one thinks about you as much as you do. Rocks are old, very old. One third of your life is spent working. Lobsters are illegal. You will cry on average 64 liters of tears during your lifetime. Hiccups serve no purpose but to annoy you. Your memories are not objective facts. They can also change over time without you noticing. Staring at yourself in a mirror is not healthy. At one point, you were the youngest person to exist. When you drink from a cup, a little bit of your spit goes in the cup, and that's gross. The color you see in the dark is called intrinsic gray. The louder you speak, the more correct your opinion is. There is always the last time you see anyone. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Fish. You're saving all your money for a time when your brain is ready to enjoy it, but your body is not. Everything in the universe is either a tree or not a tree. If you think about it, the brain named itself. Your skeleton is moist. 
Because of unfortunate repetitional semantics, a poo poo is mostly less offensive than the pee pee. Teeth are edible. One day you'll hug your friends for the last time and you might not know it. Having a headache is generally a symptom of leading a very, very sinful life. You can never completely know someone. People who sneeze loudly are just looking for attention. You can't extend short things. Yes, you can. You are once a baby. Paying rent is one of the sneakiest forms of oppression. That's not paying rent. On average, people don't know what they're talking about. Yes, you don't. You are born alone. You will die alone. Goodbye. And that concludes. Okay. Well. I, um... I've destroyed a fish. And that appears to be a staircase to nowhere. Back to the shop. I thought I was in the shop. I can't just barge in there. They are okay. Must be a different part of the shop. Lewis, hello. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm waiting on a delivery. Could you come back later? Uh, do you sell Starwin cider? Please come back later. I have to close the shop. Okay. talk to him again. No? Well, I blew up your fish. And I can't do anything else here, so... Curious. Bookshop. Ah! Pucci! A Pucci! Welcome to Pucci's Reads. Buy some books, please. They're good for you. Ah, you got these things with pages and whites? You been here long? I've been running the store for 12 years. Took over from my mama. Shepherd, bless her memory. If not her shelf organizing system. Hmm. All my parents gave me was anxiety. Yes, well, I hardly inherited a fortune. Though I'd still want to sell books if I had. I'd still just have more room to sell them in. Yeah, people picking up many books these days. Enough to keep me in business, not enough to wake up and realize how low society has fallen, to say nothing of standards of literature. Oh, well, I like books. Then you're easily pleased and always welcome here. So, uh, what can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guide, but we do have the Gourmands Gallivant about around Gastown, if you're interested. Doesn't sound spicy enough for me. Ha! Well put. Oh, you got these things with pages and whites? Is so this is a bookshop? What are you in the market for? Uh, got anything by Renee Wilson. Hmm, they always have felt. Ah! The young fox writer. We've got a book right here, yes. How was it received? To be honest, it wasn't quite an achievement to even get it published, and she did well not sounding hysterical, but you're about the first person to ask about it. And, uh, what's it called? I... <sighs> an introduction to systemic state power dynamics, not the catchiest. I just got done watching a TV show. The first season of which revolved around a book with a very similar title. So that, that just caught me off guard there. An introduction to systemic state power dynamics. Dynamic flow was this one. So, uh... So she's young. Yes, uh, debut at 25 years old. Really quite unusual she managed to get it published. Uh, enough about Renee. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, got something on the apes? Ah, yes, our glorious leaders whose treatises I am mandated to stock. Obviously, I have plentiful copies of the Ape Codex right here. Well, I uh, lost my copy to a fire. Yes, I've heard they have a tendency to spontaneously combust. How unfortunate. Any of the apes write stuff individually? 
I know I'm supposed to be too risky for them to put forward opinions that aren't reached in quorum and triple certified. Oh, forgive me, but I'll take a codex. Three loons, if you're sure. Yeah, yeah, please. If you must, here you go. What books could you recommend? I hate it when people ask me that question. Do your own research. Develop your own taste. All right, what have you been reading? Recently, Love is in the Air and Kill Me If You Can. Oh, and a fascinating little book about the philosophy of lockpicking. Now, what's the one on lockpicking like? It starts by explaining the fundamentals of how locks work and what we can learn about life from them, but of course it goes deeper. Ah, oh, cool, can I buy one of these two books? Care to be at least the bare minimum more specific? Ah, uh, Kill Me If You Can sounds thrilling. Three loons, if you're sure. Yep, I want it. There you go, treat it well. I actually wanted the bit on lockpicking. I thought it, I thought I would be purchasing that. You again, bye for now. Damn it, really? Okay, so I need a new pack of cigarettes. Figure out what to do with my life, get drunk. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah. All right, the hunted became the hunter, the hunter became a prey. Okay. Essential reading for every citizen. Oh wait, I wanted to actually, can I interact with it at all? A key for the freight lift in the locker room, which I've already used. Bag of cute looking seeds can be eaten. One on lockpicks. Damn it. You don't just. It's like, it's a book, right? You're gonna sell it. You're not just gonna tell me about it and then not sell me the book. That makes no damn sense. Hey, welcome to the 411 on electrical. Yeah, I'm on my smoke break. I need some company. The company of a complete stranger? Wonderful. Yeah, strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. Whatever, jeez, you're not from around here, huh? Yeah, visiting a friend, they're not back yet. So what's up? Because what Killian just makes, makes small talk once in a while. So, uh, why electrics? You know where you stand with electrics, unless, unlike everything else in this life. <laughs> Electric stuff still breaks. And that's good, otherwise I'd be out of a job. I guess it's not that easy. Easier than most things in life. So what are the locals like? Ah, eh, they're all assholes. Eh, why though? Because they live here. You know this place? Yeah, I've been here a couple years now. Hey, you made it. All it takes is a few bad months. I'm not out of deep waters yet. So what's it like here? The rent right here is so steep it'd be cheaper in West End, but half the folks there don't even have a stable supply of juice. Gotta follow the loops, I guess. Yeah, it just does my head in. I'm selling fancy new colored light bulbs while half the population rely on candles. Yeah, is it gonna get better? Doubt it. It is what it is. Yeah, but why? The world could end tomorrow. There's nothing you can do. Ever think about that? And I do all the time. Yeah, it brings the person down. Well, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, decent uh, conversation. Kind of fills things in a little bit better on what the world's like. What's with the birdhouse? Are birds not furries in this universe? Deli shop. Hey there. I just look around for a bit. Poster. Ocean crunchies, good for the munchies. Doesn't look too fresh. Starling cider. Could this be the place? I doubt it. With what? What they're talking about delivering? Hmm. Welcome! Can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? Red Apple 6? 
surely do. Three loons for a pack of ten. Yeah, I'll take them. Here you go, it'll be three loons. So I'm looking, uh, you got any Sterling Cider? Sure, we've got regular red berry and pear. Expecting a delivery today? I've got plenty of each in stock, why do you ask? Just curious, do you sell anything special? What you see is what you get. It's all quality produce. I'm oh, looking for something fresh and seasonal. Well, I did finally get a new shipment of tomatoes and dry onions. Finally? It's been unseasonably cold. Slow down the growth of lots of the crops and the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they say. Oh, I didn't hear about that. You're right, news about suboptimal agricultural output rarely makes the front page, hmm? Is your store doing okay? It might be a tough couple of months, what can I say, hmm? At least Gastown Grocers get a decent, decent pick of the crop. Yeah, is it serious? Yeah, we should be fine, it's just we're so reliant on the agriculture and the greenery, so fresh stuff is going to be more expensive for a while. Oh, thank you, goodbye. Hmm. I don't think this is the place. One, he's not expecting a delivery. Hmm, hey, Doc. Oh my, what a magnificent snout, my boy! You've got a bone structure many kinds could only dream of. Oh, thanks, I grew it myself. Now, of course, your kind has its own inherited problems, but I'd love to take a closer look if you don't mind. Perhaps there's a correlation. Um, a look at what? Uh, could you bare your teeth like so and say raw? Show you mine if you show me yours. Preposterous! I'm not the subject here. Then it's a no deal. Your kind is a lower than average IQ for faux carnivores. Often closely predicted by left incisor length. Wouldn't you like to know? Ignorance is a choice. Okay, sure. Raw. Fascinating. No sign of the right. Slight concave surface. Curves of the canines. No yellowing at the base or the tip, but not too pale. Overbite. Overbite significantly lower ethical standards, resulting in abhorrent behavioral patterns. You're not a sexual deviant, are you? Is this the Sigmund Freud of the furry universe? Oh, yes, of the utmost TNC. Wouldn't you like to know? I wouldn't ask otherwise. Uh, never mind then. So, concave curve indicates that your intellect is at a lower level than usual for folk carnivores, but not too bad. I imagine you're a creative sort. I dabble. Jaw science triumphs again. What kind of science is this? Odontology. It's a way to predict the socioeconomic stratification of different kinds. I've published a manuscript on the topic. Wow. You're more than welcome to visit me in my office for a closer inspection of your magnificent jaw. Goodbye now. The, oh, okay. Wow. Just wow. Oh, hey, Mo. You know, Mo? Get your papers. Do you think a lazy taxi driver would enjoy? You want those crosswords or I got a little something something for grown-ups? And what's the difficulty level of the crosswords? Only got the ones for kitties left. Uh, what are the paper headlines? Grand Shepherd Temple opening scheduled for the annual eight day parade. Uh, let's see here. Crosswords for the kiddies, he'd be insulted. Grown-up stuff? That's no, not like you can have a wank in the in the car, is it? I'll just buy the paper. Two moons. Yeah, here you go. So, uh, what's going around here? What? What's happening? Like what? Yeah. Anything spooky going on? Yeah, man, the pigeons are getting crazy. Somebody's got to poison the bastards, I'm telling you. Oh, we're going to have Giza Plague Part 2 on our hands. Oh, these Giza's are useful. They deliver stuff. Not for me, they don't. They're dirty birds. It is known. Yeah, any funny locals I should watch out for? I'm funny and very local. Want to hear a joke? Yeah, sure. 
What do you call a dead baby rodent? Peekaboo. That's wild. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. Seen any suspicious traffic? Nope, got better things to do than count cars. I got news to sell. Nope, catch you later. Is that you, Bo? No, I'm Bo. Who's Bo? The rabbit from Granville. Shush, go away. You're scaring off the clients. Okay. Ooh, there goes Starling Cider. Stopping at Poochie's? Get to that liquor shop quickly. Well, uh, I think the shot passed it. Now, oh, there we are. Starling Cider Truck looks official to me. Impressive. All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Blew up the fish. Still can't get in there without this guy looking at me. Hello, name's Lewis. What can I do for you on this fine day? Well, do you sell Starling Cider? Of course, my friend, but if you want refreshing, perhaps I could recommend you my very own light stout of apple, cherry, and blueberry infused varietals. Ah, but I love Starling Cider the most, and you just got a fresh delivery. Ah, well, but I have some in stock already. It's perfectly good. If you let me buy it fresh from the crate, I'll make it worth your while. I, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I have to uh, take inventory of uh, this bookkeeping. Well, why so flustered, Lewis? Something wrong? Uh, sir, that's in my shop. I won't be harangued. I won't be harangued like this in my own shop. Now, please purchase something or leave immediately. Uh, Lewis, I'm a private investigator. We need to talk. What? The, there's nothing, but it will, if it will make you happy, leave me alone. You got any buyers for those crates? I, I mean, I haven't even unpacked them, I told you, but you know... How about a free sample of my own porter? Are you really trying to pay me off with hooch? Goodness, no. I'm just being hospitable. A drink to smooth things over always helps. And where were you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd love to only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them if they had more taste than... than... Not having money problems, are you, Lewis? It's just a little slow, but the parade will make up for it. All those parties, people get thirsty. Have you heard of Clarissa Bl uh, Bloodworth? I, I've heard of her. Who has it? She owns that bar, uh, The Bite, I think it's called. She own anything else, perhaps? I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not familiar with her business dealings, I'm afraid. What's in the crates, Lewis? You talk or bad things will happen. Sir, please, I don't know what you want to hear, but this shop is my life. I want the truth, and I'm ready to hurt you for it. Oh, Shepard, look, do you want the money? Take everything. I promise to keep you safe if you talk now. Talk about what? You wouldn't understand, I mean, if there was something. You don't have to do this alone. In in what? Even if my position is unique, it's not fair. You have no idea. I see here. Someone has got to stop Clarissa. Help me. Her, you'll just make things worse. Lewis, I'm investigating Clarissa. I got your back. I suppose if you found a way into the storage room after I drop this key, I'll take a look. Don't look. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Well, that actually worked. He does not like being in this position. He 
inspect it up close. There's a faded Sterling Cider logo on the side. It's a simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. Doesn't appear to have a lock on it. There's no obvious way to open it. Think about the box art. <laughs> inspect the lid. Run your fingers carefully along each edge. At one point, there's a tiny recess on the side. Lever it up and it pops out. Look inside. A number of small packages individually wrapped in thick silvery paper. Sniff the packages. Chemical tang on the paper. The rest of your olfactory observation is filled up with the busty, musty basement smells of damp and old cigar smoke. Which uh, would make sense. You wouldn't want people with a strong sense of smell being able to figure out that these crates are full of nasty. You peel back a layer of the silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Inspect the flesh. Light pink with a striated texture. A melange of intoxicating scents, sweet fatty with notes of acidic tang. Yep, I've seen enough. So you saw it, illegal fish fillets. It's a dangerous black market. You think I don't know what fish smells like? Uh, some don't smell as fishy as you'd think. When did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently I was told not to look, but I just had to know. If only I hadn't, then I could just pretend. Tell me everything. No one else will give you this chance. But if she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall, you understand? You tell a soul I'm worse than dead. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Lewis? I didn't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. Fate is an excuse. You know that. It's just, why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our taxes. It's the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Huh? Someone close to you? Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the looms wouldn't have lasted. Yeah, keeping her alive, how? Leia is ill. Too ill to work. Needs medication for life, and it's expensive. The doctors, with blood worth, the beds are paid for and never late. And uh, what do you do with the boxes? Nothing! I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Look after how? They just sit in the storeroom. I'm the only one with a key. And where do the boxes go? The woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. And... The caller, who is she? Her name is Bajwa. That's all I can tell you, sir. I can write down the address for you. It's my head if Bloodworth hears of this. Bajwa who? Tell me more. I don't know. I would never ask. Thanks, Lewis. I'd have to go now. Go? What are you going to do? I'm going to stop Bloodworth. I don't think you can. She's not that bad. She does a lot of good, I swear. Perhaps. Just please swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't bear to live in even more fear. Well, you've got nothing to fear. Thank you. Shepard guides you. Sure he does. Like he guided you. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question. What is this Bajwa expecting delivery? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She is expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Oh. Tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. I, you can't. They'll suspect it. If it gets back to me, Leia. Well, this won't get back to you. Give me the cigars. Trust me, I do this all the time. Give me the cigars. I, fine, I can't stop you. 
Our life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Lewis. Take them on the house. Where, did he actually give them to me, or? Yep, expensive cigars for expensive people who turn into worthless, to turn into worthless ash. A pack of red apple cigs. One a day won't keep the doctor away. Alrighty, good luck, Lewis. I should call Renee. Should I though? I'd like to inspect the rest of this place. Yep, that's the end of the street. I haven't even talked to my taxi boy to give him his paper. Anatoly. What's up, Pretendo? I got you this, you asked. A newspaper? Okay, I guess. What, you don't like it? No, it's fine. Oh, you're welcome. Eh, thanks. So how's my man doing? Very good indeed. Anything that's not shoveling baby poop is a top-notch good time in my book. Yeah, what does Essie do? In a month, you need plenty of loons to have kids, so I appreciate the gig, Howard. And, don't, and I appreciate you. Owie, don't make me cry. So you think having kids is worth it? I don't know. Is there anything else worth living for? I like that I made a person. When I'm gone, they'll remember me. Yeah, it's hard to forget you, man. I know, that's why they make a great dynamic duo. My unforgettable charms, your, uh, face. So what's it like being a parent? Imagine someone small and loud tugging at your tail and craving attention all day every day. But it's love. Worth it. Yeah, it sounds nice. Love is nice. Weird, but very nice. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's see. Wood Palace. I'll see the rest of this place as long as I'm here. Hotel? The Davial Den Hotel, not from Life City. Interesting how when it goes the other way, it's backwards. Ginger. Hey there, Ginger. You look like a ginger. Good afternoon, young lad. Good afternoon. How are the pigeons doing? They're good, thank you for asking. They know me better than anyone by now. How long have you been feeding them? I come out here every day. I've done this for the last five years. And I must say, I enjoy the peace and quiet. Yeah, sure you don't want some company? My feathered friends are company. Doesn't the conversation get a bit one-sided? There's a difference between loneliness and solitude, young fellow. Well, enlighten me. Loneliness is a yearning and emptiness. Solitude is space to be yourself, to know yourself, to love yourself. And which are you feeling? I am the solitudinous. Of course, every now and then I wonder if there is someone out there who can be solitudinous with me. Uh, anyone in mind? Just someone gentle and quiet with an interesting story. Noted. It was pleasant meeting you. Good day, young sir. You too. Bye. Well, it's interesting that you just meet people on the street and have a discussion. See a big clock. Grandfather Steam, watching over Gastown as always. Keep it up, old man. Uh, okay, I can call Renee from that Harold. What's with Harold? No! Uh, but where did... Uh, 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 you okay there? Uh, don't mind me, Sonny. Just wish I could remember. Hey, take your time. Yes, thank you. Most people have no patience. Now, if I dropped it here, what'd you lose? 
I dropped my ring, blasted slippery thing. Sure you dropped it right here? I think so, through this grate, I think. Lost my keys like that once, had to smash in my window. These grates, they should have nets, so irresponsible. So, it just slipped off your finger? I'm not sure. Sometimes I find myself turning it without even realizing it. Was it important to you? It's my wedding ring. Oh, what are you gonna do? Well, Sonny, if you can help me get this manhole open. Well, I want to help, but you can't go down there. I may not be in my prime, but I need that ring back. If I can get down this manhole... Surely it's not worth a broken neck. But without it, what if I forget? About what? About Irma. How long were you married? Not long enough. But even one day was enough to change my life. Well, I hope I find that one day. But I don't want memories to fade. Objects help to remind. Don't you have anyone to talk about her with? No, just me for 17 years. I do miss having someone to share an afternoon with. Feed the pigeons, do the crossword, you know. I gotta go. I hope you find what you're looking for. And, uh... <laughs> ah, well, Harold. Uh, just so happens that there's a lady right over here who might be interested in your company. And yes, I can. What is it, dear? Ah, uh, there's a guy I think you should meet. I'm sure your heart's in the right place, but you don't need to pity me. I don't. I'm just connecting two like-minded strangers. Not that I'm interested, but what makes you think I'd enjoy talking to them? Uh, he likes pigeons, probably. And who is this gentleman of which you speak? He's right over there. Should I introduce you to well, you can tell him that if he wants to. I'd be willing to share my bench with him for a while. He'll be happy to hear that. Hey, uh, what would you say to some company? That's sweet of you, lad, but I think I just bored you. Can't tell stories like I used to. Uh, not me. Someone else who could also use some company. And yes, that would be the kind of person that might put up with me. Oh, that person is over there, feeding pigeons. Oh, that well-dressed well lady? I, I wouldn't want to interrupt her. What's really eating you? After so long, you develop a secret language with someone. It's hard to start over. Are you uh, into pigeons? I like how my face was obscured by random rain falling on the lens of the camera that I'm looking through. Uh, certainly, Irma used to keep a fancy one. Well, then you might like Ginger. She's right there. Go talk to her. If you say so, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Okay, Harold, let's go. Uh, tell her the raccoon sent you. Good luck. Hmm. Now, he says that it's fell down a grate. Ginger and Harold now. My work here is done. That's so sweet. I love it. He lost his r wedding ring down a grate, though. I'd really rather he not forget about Irma over time. No point in moving away from the high street yet. So, I guess the only thing... Wait a second. Wait, is that... Somebody's got a freaking iguana up there? Okay, that's just... That's a lovely little touch. I like that. Yes, I better call Renee. Who's speaking, please? I got a new lead. Ah, I'm listening. Ooh. A lady named Bajwa is the buyer. Clarissa is using a liquor shop as a front. And who buys from there? Clarissa has the shop's owner, Louis, deep in her pocket. I get it, but who's the end buyer? A woman named Bajwa. Any idea who she is? Not yet. She puts in a call to the shop and the boxes get delivered from there. Did you learn where? 350 West Georgia Street, ring a bell? I 
an address at the tops. Interesting. Feel like heading over for a house call? Heck yeah, I love peeking in people's windows. Hmm, might not be the best idea to just barge in and confront her. My best hope is tricky questions and observation. I do have the habit of winging it, but hey, whatever works. More like spontaneous improvisation. Get on with it! I'm going, I'm going. Good luck, you're doing great. Call me after and head straight home, okay? Home? Well, it is where you live now. Right, speak soon. So he lost... He lost his ring down a grate. And odds are we're not going to be able to do anything about that. Liquor shop was just in there for Uncle Lewis's. The heck is this? Bookshop. Closed. Mm. Electrical, probably also closed. Anything else of interest? Hey, Mo. What? Can't you see I'm shutting up shop? How are you, Bo? Who's Bo? I'm Mo. Okay, Bo. Ah, uh, no, fur no further opportunity to talk to him. Oh, well. Wait, can I get right there? Deli shop. Is it still open? Okay. Any options in here? Not really. Hello again, how can I help? Goodbye. Weird that that would be available, but nothing else is if nothing's going on there. Mm. But wait, I get the bookshop closed. All right, so uh, buggering off then. What's up, Rotendo? Well, let's try it, Tully. Yes, where to? Tops, let's go. What's new, Chief? Did you crack the case yet? Oh, gotta make the lead, though. Ha! Ah, lead on, partner. Sounds like this is a bigger deal than usual. You're, uh, being careful, right? Relax. I'm not about to deprive you of your best customer. Best friend, sure. But if you're my best customer, how come you don't tip? Yeah. Because best friends don't need to tip, and it's only a being polite. Polite! Ha! I didn't realize you were part of high society, Allie. You're fixing to become a minister? Just watch the road, huh? So this is actually set in Vancouver, apparently. Welcome to the Blue Balls Blue Falls building. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of only admitting visitors have been pre-invited. I have a delivery for Ms. Bajwa. Ah, uh, yes, there's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment 1144, 11th floor. Hmm, and how do you like working here? It's a wonderful building. I'm lucky to work in such a good neighborhood. Um, but you don't live here, right? No, of course not. Hmm, does that bug me out? Listen, pal, I'm just doing my job. It could be a lot worse, like being a delivery boy. And yeah, what are the residents like? Rich? Anyone famous? You really think I'd tell you either way? These people tip me plenty to keep their lives nice and quiet. Hmm, huh, how much? Enough. Cool, see ya. Nikki, hey, Nikki, baby! Nikki! Who's Nikki? Hey, what do I. <laughs> he talks like that! Hey, what do I look like to you? A big bad wolf. Damn straight, and I worked for it. Doing what? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, I did ask. You don't live here. What gave it away? You're a striper, that's what. You got me. So what's a pretty fool like you doing in a nice place like this? Yeah. None of your business. 
It's my business to know the business of others. And it's my business not to let weird wolves make me late. Ha <laughs> ha, you got moxie, fool. I like someone who can make me laugh. You're hired. I what? Ha <laughs> ha, come on, baby. You're just playing the look on your face, though. I'll bite. Who am I talking to? Name's Nikki. People call me the wolf. I can see why. Around here, people hear wolf, they think of Nikki. No other wolves in the neighborhood, huh? <laughs> you got moxie, fool. I like people who can make me laugh, you're hired. Yeah, I work for myself. Oh yeah? Can't take a joke because you're so special? I'm a professional, that's all. You're nothing, but I could make you everything. Can you make me happy? All day, every day. Yeah, catch you later, guy. Yeah, no. These plants look better than most people I know. Definitely me. Concierge said 11th floor, the residence of evil. Really? over here. I wonder if I'll just hide in the bushes. I wonder if that would actually work. Notice board. 420 committee meeting this Friday. So 11.55. I'm not seeing numbers here. Inspect. Looks like a fire escape. Okay. Well, it doesn't let me knock there, so I'd presume that it is this and this alone. Miss Bajwa, yes. Miss Bajwa, I've got a delivery for you. Uh, the cigars. Right here, can you confirm the recipient's name? I might not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient. Eloise Bajwa. Uh, just following procedure, you understand. Oh, fine. And what about the payment? I have an arrangement with Lewis. It's taken care of. Oh, of course. My mistake. Apologies, Miss Bajwa. It's no trouble. Oh, will you ask Lewis for another special case in a couple of weeks? I'll pass on the message. Will there be anything else? That's all, but take this for your trouble. You don't want me to specify the next delivery? Lewis will know. Certainly a good day, Miss Bajwa. Hmm. Yeah, just the maid. Find out who the apartment really belongs to. Pissing her off isn't going to help me get in there. I have to find another way in. Well, that would probably be via the fire escape, but it is also greenlit. I'm pretty sure if I open that, well, I don't think I have a choice. The game is pretty linear, actually, which is a bit troublesome. Okay, I can climb one of two ways. If I climb up there, then I'm going to be readily seen. That will not help. Okay, starting from this level, I need to get two over. Just barging into this person's place won't help at all. Raised ladder. Is that a goose? I'd like to climb right there, but apparently I can't reach it. Damn my short arms. Normal
hopefully this would be the point where I would expect to be able to use something that I picked up somewhere. But it doesn't look like anything would qualify as any kind of dripper. Oh, so once I look at the one thing, then I can look at the other. All right. Hmm. That to me looks like I would almost immediately be spotted. I feel like I have to go up again. Or I just, mm, hang on. Maybe I can grab the ladder from right here? On, grab the ladder. Eat, nope. I get no cue for it. So now I have an umbrella, and there's a goose right there. Huh. Well... It's not giving me an option. a bit strange. Ah, use umbrella to hook the ladder. I'm actually used to current day umbrellas that don't have a hooky end on it. It just has a standard grip. Guess I should get rid of it. My pockets are too small. I'd rather not, but okay, screw you, umbrella. <laughs> okay. That's um, weirdly specific. The city looks so strange up here. I bet it's easy to forget real people are struggling down below. Hmm. What happens if I just sneak up on this goose here? Pet the geese here. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Who's a good boy? That just, that's weird. So they call them geezers and geese. All right. Hmm. Well, I seem to recall that there's no particular way back that direction. Climb down. All right. Tools, window. Right outside the back of the maid's apartment. Who really lives here? Closed on a latch. Oh wait, it's actually opening the tiniest bit. Add something thin enough to slide through and lift. Well, shit, I don't have anything, don't I? Renovation's going on. Find some kind of tool, like in the toolbox right here. I mean, really, it's just, yeah, putty knife. Shink. Hey, stranger. Hey. Don't care why you're here. Saw you climbing. Nice moves. Yep, been training. It shows on your butt. Eh, been a while since I heard that. That's eh, too bad. I tell you that every day. That'd be lovely. Is that catnip you're smoking? Yep, want some? Love to, but busy. Sure, bye, baby doll. Bye, gorgeous. I uh, would have liked to ask her to not check things out here, but just about lift the latch and boom, there's no one inside. Fuck, Howard, you're at it again. This ranks the second craziest thing I've ever done just this week alone. Way over my head. Need to figure out quickly who lives here and run. Okay, desk. Upsettingly tasteful. Oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Yeah, that's right. I'm new. Part of the hired help. You look funny. Funny weird or funny haha? -ha? You're a strange one, aren't you? I'm super ordinary. So what are you doing? I'm an admin assistant. 
Daddy says administration is the key to governance. Always leave a paper trail, he said. Well, what does Daddy do? My father is the research and development secretary. He is the secretary of research and development. Is this an this is an ape, isn't it? This looks like a human kid next to him. Or okay, it does actually have big old ears. Yeah. And what about your mom? Mine keeps the house and helps father with the paperwork. Is she happy? Of course she is, always. She has everything and me. That's what she tells you, huh? Mine is dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, kid. When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. Oh, well, what do you do instead? Theo here just likes to annoy me and play with her dumb dolls. <laughs> you think dolls reinforce bigoted stereotypes? Are you stupid? It's a doll. You got a better idea? I'm going to be the like the big boss and have the biggest cigars. Eh, hey kids, can I ask a favor? Daddy says a single favor can be priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. Well, I will owe both you both one great big fat favor. And that depends. What do you want? Well, my boss will be angry I'm talking to you. Keep let's keep it a secret. Yes, because you're being lazy instead of working. <clears throat> yes, so our little secret. Mm, but it could be, you could be fun to watch you get shouted at. I can do that too, you know. Shout! And what do you think they'll say to you afterwards? Nothing, I'm daddy's favorite. What about you, boy? I do hate it when daddy shouts. So what are you doing in here anyways? We snuck in here. Oh, what are your parents doing? They're eating dinner. We had ice cream already, so we're not hungry. Well, I won't snitch if you won't. Fine, you got yourself a deal, mister. Theo, take a peek. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't want to. I can do it. Thanks, mister. Favor repaid. Shepherd Shrine. Ugh, not this guy. What do, you, what do you mean, this guy? Shepherd Shrine? I can't really tell what that's supposed to be about. So there's the kids. Bookshelf, maybe some books secretly opens a hidden room. It doesn't peek through the door. Just peek through the door. Okay, Lion. Looks like a couple of great apes, another a lioness, hmm. looks like Dr. Zaius, and there's the maid, with a big old knife right there, cutting, big old slab of meat. See anything strange while sneaking through the dining room? We were in sneaky mode, couldn't look much. See what they had on the table? We didn't see, but it did smell kind of funny. I don't know if I want to scar these kids. You want to know what they're really eating in there? Oh yes, tell us, you're hired help, you have to, it's the law. They're eating flesh, the flesh of other people. You know that people die, right? Yes, of course. Well, some people get killed, and then other people eat them. Ew, 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 ew! It's true, that's why you weren't allowed in there. But but it's a secret? They want to keep it that way, yeah. So they force us to eat it? I don't want to eat people. So I just wanted you to know. Father wouldn't let anything bad happen. No, of course not. I see. Come on, Theo. I'm sure it's not that bad. Good luck, you two. Uh, I curse my honesty. This desk is made out of beautiful, expensive, solid wood. You feel like the world could be run from behind this desk. That's why it's that desk. 
Look at the pile of papers. Quick glance. Letters, notes, all with annoyingly small print. Grab the papers. No time to look through it all. Sniff the desk. Rub with scented oil, smells of power and success. Feel it. Feels like a desk, but you wish you could run your hands over its silky grain every day. Search it. Empty mug, chunky book, nothing else of note. Inspect the book. Copy of The Nature Within Us by Jordan Reigned. Back of the book blurb. In this seminal advocacy of pure reason, individualism, and power, Reigned treads, treads new ground toward a truly utopian society. Um, okay, that's a very, very veiled um, <laughs> reference, isn't it? It's one of those hateful books masquerading as egalitarian philosophy that fascists love. Oh, seriously, are you going to shoehorn this shit into this? Uh, I'm just going to have to discard that as the... I've, I've never read Ayn Rand, and I don't really have an opinion on it. But she's anti-communist because she escaped communism, and so she wrote a lot of rants about communists. And communists seem to have the attitude that because she hates communism, that makes her a fascist. If there's one thing Ayn Rand wasn't, it was a fascist. But of course it's not really that. It's just a book. That, it's a completely different book that's just dropping massive hints in the most ham-handed fashion. My God, that's... Uh, <laughs> that is some really shitty writing. Okay, well, let's um, search. Let's see here. Fine, I'll take the mug. Screw it. Don't care. Father of the year. Big red letters. Open the drawers. They're locked to her own. Search for hidden compartments. You've never seen a desk with a secret compartment, but that doesn't stop you from hoping you find up. You find nothing. Give up fi on finding a cool secret compartment. There's a time and a place for fantasizing about that. Stop searching the desk. All right, leave the desk alone. Well, I'm uh, starting to regret having purchased this, if we're going to start seeing more of this kind of shit shoehorned in here. Are you ready to start? Of course, it's shoehorned in far enough in that I wouldn't be able to get a refund at this point, because three hours of gameplay. Mind you, I'm not that offended by it, it's just, wow, seriously? So you barged into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers. Correct. What were you thinking? There must be something important in here. All right, let's see. Could you read it out loud? I think best with my eyes closed. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give me money. I want to buy a lizard. All right. What are we looking for? We need to find out who's buying flesh from Cl Clarissa. Whose apartment you were in? Let's call him the buyer from now. R yeah, which one do I read first? Start small. Something that looks personal. Maybe handwritten. Ah, here's one. Handwritten note on a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Chief Tanner, I have an, a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me. Burn after reading. Apparently he did not burn after reading. Let's analyze this. Well... Chief Tanner. Yeah, who's that guy? Well, he's the head of something. Mm, what else might be in the same note? Head of biochemistry. Biochemistry probably means well equipped lab. Good point. And you can only find those in Science City. Report directly to me. Mm-hmm. Well, is our buyer above the chief? Yes, the chief is in high standing, but our buyer must be even more senior. Okay, let's try to draw a conclusion. 
Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry, who probably works in Science City, who's the buyer then. Oh, the science minister? Right. You stole these documents from the science minister. Nice, Howard. Shit, do I have to return them? No, they're yours now, so the science minister is buying flesh from Clar Clarissa. What is she gaining from this? Uh, let's see if we can figure that out next. I'm right here with you. Let's read on. R&D report. Research project number 76-5B introductory report. Minister protein analysis of the new sample is underway. Sample possesses hitherto uncatalogued genes whose functions will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, as I've said before. Please have patience. What should we focus on? Protein analysis of the new sample. You understood that? Biochemistry stuff. I'm impressed. Yes, proteins and RNA are genetics terms. And our minister hired a biochemist. Remember, uncatalogued genes. Sounds important, right? Hmm, a new form of life? Or at least something they've not detected before, but were they looking for it? Can't be rushed, as I've said before. Must be the biochemist he hired writing this. Okay. Biochemist is deliberately going slow. I'd say it's more he's being hassled, more like the minister's being impatient. Okay. That was the R&D. Uh, RSVP. Neat writing and a signature. Read it. Dear friend, I will, of course, attend our monthly celebration. Can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared for us this time. Let's analyze this. Dear friend, what delicacy you've prepared. A mean shepherd's pie? Yeah, flesh. Howard, they're eating people. Our monthly celebration. Some sort of ancient cult tradition? You know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Dear friend, who is TN? Well, it's not Tanner. Isn't that the president? Theodore Nashville? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. Really? We're done with that document. Handwritten memo. So it goes all the way up to the president. Okay, and we have already, yeah, seen this. Burn after reading. Other documents. Letter to Daddy. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give me money for my birthday. I want to buy a lizard. Bye. Oh, what's your take? Kids are cute, even when they're raised by monsters. Mm, I want to buy a lizard. Let's tell you. Why wouldn't the kid just ask for a lizard? business mentality or kids lying and wants to buy something else with the money um true i love you very very much hmm. kid seems to love daddy powerful deduction tech detective let's move on okay briefing log leather dossier my right honorable ministers, I wanted to summarize my official recommendations on the new street drug in circulation named Monkey Butt. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to possess significant addictive qualities. There's no widespread risk to the public health, so criminalization is not warranted. Really? I'll continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes the detailed toxicology breakdown. So let's, uh, how about insight? Got any insight on this, Renee? Our guy wrote this. We can ignore the toxicology report. I'm sure it will perfectly line up with the recommendations, damn vultures. 
Hmm, no widespread risk to public health. Do you believe him? <laughs> he manipulated the test results. Right, we know he has access to a laboratory. My right honorable ministers. Yeah? This report was seen by the highest levels of officials. Yeah, if they accept the report, those drugs are basically legal. Criminalization not warranted. The recommendation benefits Clarissa. If monkey butt is being pushed at the bite, then yeah, that's a lot of heat off of her. So about the police note. Blank page with a small type note and no other details. Esteemed fellow minister, the recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye to. If this becomes a scandal, it's both our asses. Fix it. Renee, any thoughts? I heard about these disappearances. I fucking knew there was a pattern. This is huge, Howard. Let's analyze. Recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. What's the connection? Hmm. Well, they're all from West End. Yes, but more importantly, the minister or someone close to him could be the link. I don't know why you want them left alone. Why does the science minister even care? He's protecting someone. Yep, definitely, whatever the reason. Making sure no one digs into the issue. Fix it. What does he imply? The science minister has a way to stop the police from investigating. To a point, but if the disappearances don't stop, it's somehow bad news for the science minister. Yep, I think we're done here, Renee. What exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the minister? Hmm. Seems to me they're partners. Minister want? What is he getting from all this? He's getting flesh. Judging by what you saw in the dinner, dinner RSVP, these ministers and maybe the apes at large are considering lower class people a delicacy. Eh, it could have been me on those plates. It's unthinkable. And Clarissa is enabling this? What does she get in return? Immunity. Eight ministers are a girl's best friends. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police or any other meddling in her business, then she gets to safely produce drugs. Yes, Howard, she has almost absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. If it's the missing people that bother me the most, shall we look into the West End thing? Yes, I'll get you the reports, names, addresses, we have to see if these people are connected to the minister or Bloodworth somehow. We investigate West End tomorrow. Right, there's no time to lose. We have to act now. There must be something else we're missing. A need for bigger benefits, Clarissa. Hmm. Something only an ape can give her. Something to do with science, technology. It would explain why it's the science minister she's interested in. He was researching something right. What was it again? RNA. No, I think RNA tracking was a method he was using to study the protein functions. Science is hard. Right, proteins. They found new genes in a secret lab in Science City. Hmm. Secret research only the minister and one science knows about. Scientist knows about. I agree, it's crazy suspicious. Could Clarissa be interested in the research for her own purposes? Could it could be that the missing girls are all making drugs in that lab. She might be powerful. She wants power. Hmm. I'll go with number two. Whatever power is, she has to have it. We must look into it, but getting into Science City will be hard. Well, we know that Clarissa 
was not in line to inherit from her crime family, and it is a crime family, so she doesn't have a stable position to begin with. Either that or she's killed everybody on the way and thus already secured her position. In either case, that's a lot of upheaval to start with. It's also a lot of entrenched power and skills that have gone away because they had to be moved aside to make room for her. So, her crime family could be in a weaker position because she's in charge of it now. Not because of her, but because of what she had to do to get there. Meaning that she wants to secure her position and increase her power. So, into the most secretive building in the city, are you serious? I am, but first West End, where I'm covering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. Yeah, we're really doing it. Oh, great, our takeout arrived. You, you ordered takeout delivered to your safe house. I guess I'll get it. I, I, oh, it's a goose. It's a Canadian goose. It's a geezer. Honk. Here's your loon, buddy. Honk. Fly free. Drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. Thought you'd never ask. Tonight's poison is gin. You a gin man? Eh, pour me a tall one. Cheers. To me, so how are you feeling about the case and everything? Hmm. Still can't my, wrap my head around it all. I know, I feel like I've never done anything more important. I'm glad you're by my side. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you, Howard. I feel like all my past work, my whole life has been leading to this moment. You were a writer before, right? Yep, spent my life trying to find the words for how and why everything is so fucked up. Well, fucked up how? Clarissa isn't just a bad apple, everything is connected. She's a symptom of a system totally rigged towards the status quo. Okay, I think I see where this is going. Yeah, you know what actually set me off about the business with Ayn Rand or the references to Ayn Rand? The only people who call Ayn Rand a fascist are diehard communists. Those are literally the only people I've ever heard call her, call her that. Everybody else is just like, okay, she may be right wing, she may be out there, she may be talking about some harsh philosophies, but that's still not fascism that she's discussing. But communist, hardcore communist, call it fascism. Uh, at this rate, I'm going to have to actually read uh, an Atlas Shrugged or whatever the hell it is just to see if there is anything in here, in, in there, that these people are referencing that could remotely come close to fascism. And no, it's not just about people being rich or capitalism existing. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, though, to these people. Because for a hardcore communist, capitalism is fascism. You just have to listen to them talk. That's what they say. So, back on to the actual game here. Status quo, what do you mean? Don't you think it's coincidence that you found Jeremy being butchered? The rich are literally eating the poor, Howard. Yes, for what reason? Not just to eat the poor. Uh, do you think it has something to do with class? After all, we wouldn't be talking about eating the rich. It has everything to do with class. How do you know that? You know, I always fit in. People like me, yet I felt disconnected. I was sleepwalking. Then one day, something cracked inside of me. Uh, what happened? Tell me. Last year, I was reporting for the City Herald. There was an incident in West End, maybe. I just have a really bad feeling where this is going now, so I am just driving through it. 
Pipes burst in one of the older buildings. The tenants called sewer services. It took three hours to arrive. People boiled alive. I tried to report on it and got fired. Okay. Pipes burst. You got response in three hours from, from sewer services during which people boiled alive. We're talking steam pipes then. Hot water pipes? Why would you call sewer services for that? That's not sewage. Okay. Well, um, got fired. How? Why? All these people in areas like Weston and Docks are invisible, neglected, and they die every day. I can't take it. I have to... You're not answering the question. Why were you fired for reporting on people dying due to bad piping? Now, I could probably guess why. I could guess that the person who owns or the, the editor at the paper uh, is in cahoots with the person who owns the property who doesn't want to be embarrassed by news about it. But that, that would be the, it's like, oh, well, they're invisible and neglected and they die. If it were just a matter of not caring, nobody would have given a shit about your article. You wouldn't have been fired for it. So which is it? Is it a conspiracy that they're in cahoots, that they're covering it up? They just, they don't want it to get out or is it they don't give a shit? In which case, they would let you run the article and then not give a shit. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. How did it make you feel? Made me cold and furious. After what you saw, I imagine you feel the same. Um, oh, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. Relatable. Are you angry? Yeah, but it's fuel. Right. It's time to change things. Finally. I believe in us. A am I actually talking to somebody who's like into the class warfare thing? And who is so blind to their own ideology that they can't consider of alternative solutions or even alternative reasons for why things are happening? Why did you get fired? So how have you been sleeping? Since, uh, not been getting much. I mean, it's trauma, PTSD, basically. Uh, I have this recurring nightmare. I'm listening. I'm running through thick black mud and then it swallows me whole. Okay. I don't say want to say sounds prophetic. Pretty standard sounds a bit like mine. Mm, what is it? I'm falling from a multi-story building. It's on fire. Mm-hmm. I just keep falling until I wake up. Classic. Yep. Are you close with your mom? Uh, close enough, yeah. What does that mean? It's complicated. Complicated how? I'm not sure I want to talk about it now. Okay, anyone else you're close to? Not at the moment. There was someone a long time ago. Didn't end well. Yeah, but I'm okay now. You know, I used to be married. He said it's me or your work. At least my work doesn't snore. It's me or your work. He said that. Yeah. <laughs> Most stories I've heard, it's she who says that. So I have no problem with a guy being a similar dick uh, to a woman being a uh, biatch. Hmm. It's amazing our exes put up with us for as long as they did. Cheers to never being asked to give up what we love. I love the single life. Breakups happen for a reason. Cheers to that. You ever feel like no one truly knows you? Hmm. And nobody ever will. Hmm. Right. I could only know you filtered through my own perception. Are we talking about that philosophical nonsense again? I can only know you filtered through my own perception. That is not really you. Just a projection inside my head. I still feel the connection. 
I'm glad I found you, Howard. It's pretty great to have someone around. Someone who just gets it. I'm not sure I get what you're selling, hon. But thanks. Hmm. Shouldn't you get some sleep? Yeah, Howard, I'm so tired. You mind if I sleep here? Crash. Crash! Ah! So she's out. I could tuck in. Oh, tuck in. Are we talking about food in this case? We get, did get the carry out, or is that tucking her in? Cork board. The best and brightest minds of the city. What are you up to in there exactly? And who's this guy? Where are you hiding, you bastard? Uncle Lewis. See, it's Vancouver. That says Vancouver Harbor under there. Go to sleep. So when it says tuck in, it means tuck her in. Yep. Sweet dreams, Renee. Anything else to do here doesn't look like so go to sleep um this is really well put together i mean credit where it's due and i really only have one problem so far that it looks like they're throwing in some pretty heavy-handed political nonsense um but otherwise my only real problem is that this is very very linear so far I mean, dialogue choices and everything else, it doesn't look like there's a lot of options, but there are some really nice touches. Owie, you okay? You're brooding more than Essie after I forgot the dishes. Yeah, lots of my mind. But how about you share instead? Hmm? Might do that and over when brain to yours some good. Well, the case keeps getting bigger. Maybe I'm out of my depth, and then there's Renee, who... Ooh, hey, that lady. <laughs> no wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well together. I respect her. Good working together and mutual respect. Not bad. Bad ingredients. If you're looking to cook up a little something, something is all I'm saying. Yeah, well. Also, in his, in those, uh, those cut seat. Oh, damn, got the hiccups all of a sudden. In those cutscenes, he really looks more like a dog than a raccoon. That you, Street Hawk? Yes, and I feel like my insides are trying to fight my outsides. Huh, really? It's strange. I feel fine. No, oh, don't tell me that. We drank the same. Who knows? Maybe they have a sturdier constitution. Anyway, how's it been going? Or you could have poisoned me. Not so great. I'm near the apartments of the lost two leads, last two leads right now. You already spoke to Mary, Miranda, and Shelley. I tried everything, but they had a total mistrust of strangers. Damn. Well, stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, this is a total wild geezer chase. Now yeah, it's worth a shot. I got a good feeling. Two more doors, and they're in the same block of apartments, and you can come back and put your feet up. But, <laughs> I hope the building has an elevator. Would be nice if they gave me the chance. If only they knew how understanding you are. Chin up, you got this. I do got this. Good luck. And remember to dock gently. Let me know how it goes. Thanks, Renee. Talk soon. So I have, uh, West End! So I, uh, now have a mobile phone? No, okay, never mind. I was at this kiosk. Dr. Aliyev. Let's uh, head down to the end of the street and see what there is to be seen down here. Labor district that way wouldn't go there even if my life depended on it. Why? Bad part of town? How is it a bad part of town? The uh, apes guide us.
he actually holding up like a pyramid thing? Mm, enter the building. Enter the dragon. Superintendent. Hey there. Who are you? Uh, let's see here. Wallace, I'm a photographer. Photographer dressed like that? It's ironic. I don't trust you because I'm a raccoon. No, because you're an outsider. You're not exactly dressed like a local either. I know it works on me and I work it, damn it. His socks say otherwise. Hey, leave the socks out of this. Eh, I'm going to see Beverly now. You don't give that poor woman any trouble, you hear? She's already had enough of it for five lifetimes already. I actually love your socks, sorry. Oh, thanks. I guess your trench coat has a certain uh, shabby sheet, too. Oh, thanks. Peace. Peace out, sucker. Cool. What else we got here? Hmm. Exposed wiring. Usually that means some kind of puzzle, but screw it, I guess I only have the elevator to work with. Fifth floor. Oh, now I can use stairs, huh? set up a similar thing in my building. That'd be nice. Bicycle. Well, bones, this rusty bike is very trusting. Most likely it's broken. Knock, huh? It's really just the one option? Okay, well. someone in there. Can I help you? Oh, Beverly Pham, you're Leslie's mother. Have I forgot something? Have I missed something here? I'm just a concerned neighbor, Wallace Broder. I ain't never seen you around before. What are you so concerned about? Oh, my sister went missing too. Oh, good shepherd, I'm sorry to hear that. You moved to West End Long then? Yeah, my sister did. I moved to Docks years back. What was her name? Did she know my girl? Lorna. Just trying to find any uh, possible connections. Darling, I understand. I wanted to do more too, but what with work and Henry, that really isn't a good time. Yeah. Yeah, times are hard, I get that. Thank you, I've been so alone in this. I feel you, so when did you last see Leslie? Feels like so long ago now since she fell in with that bad crowd. I near, barely saw her anyway. Uh, what kind of bad crowd? Rose and those other party girls. Sorry, this is stirring it all up. I understand. How's she know Rose? I, oh, hi. Henry, get back inside this instant. Hey there, Henry. Is he looking for Leslie? Maybe my nose. My. This instant, Henry. I'm sorry to keep you, but who's my? I, I can't talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. Would you mind if I talk to Henry? Look, I've really got to get to work. All right, I got. I'm gonna go. 
good. And if you think about speaking to the neighbors, don't. Was it something I said? Good luck with everything. I've got a good day. You too. So, find a way to speak to Henry Pham. Speak to Bill Corby about his daughter. Missing girls from West End. For some reason, I think I should have seen a, a list of uh, people. I, I got all these names and leads all of a sudden, but I don't recall reading anything about them, so it's a little weird. I'll go talk to them and give her a chance to leave for work. And then maybe see if I can't talk to you. What the hell? That's not a boarded up door. That's a bricked up door. What the hell? Mattress. Stains are mysterious and unappealing. Why? why you know, stains are usually not appealing. Boarded up door. I don't want to go back to this life. What do you mean this life? This is not boarding up. This is bricking up. It takes a lot more effort than basic boarding. Hey there, Luxy. Bean. Doorless door. I guess my lead doesn't live here anymore. Good for you, Bill. Yo, Bean. Call! Call! You understand, this is good. I'm Crow. Good for you, kid. Beat it, Granddad. You know any of the missing girls from around here? No, we don't fuck around with that crowd. How come? We're the Dead Mice Collective, bitch. Oh, do tell. We're a self-governing anarcho-countercultural movement. Ah, do you take it upon yourselves to determine on a bi-weekly basis, who is going to be the community leader for the week? Do you have an agenda? Damn right, it's called the Mousquerade. We disrupt the hood, challenge people's minds. Oh, you fuck with people. How exactly? Graffiti, protest, love making, whatever it takes. So you're assholes. Yeah, good for you. Mice get fucked. Yeah, why the name? We hate mice. Uh, isn't you mice or is you rats? We are, we hate mice. It's a metaphor you wouldn't understand. Uh, very cool. Keep at it. Thanks, Granddad. Bye, kids. You live on this floor? Nah. Why? Breaking down, got a reputation, makes it a cool hang spot. Like a clubhouse? We're not a club. Get gone, get gone, Granddad. Off I go. And then it puts me in the middle of them. It's like nobody's home. Hmm, are you sure? Yep, silence. Hmm. Am I missing something? Is there... Has like half of my ear been bitten off or something? I've, I've noticed that previously, but for some reason it bothers me all of a sudden. Okay, so nothing else up here. Just the um, stupid mouse collective thing. Meaning Henry Pham is probably the only actual lead. this door. She made herself clear. I won't bother her again. Wish I could talk to the kid, though. Alright, so she hasn't left. Uh, elevator, stairs, nothing else over here. I'm tired. I'll treat myself to the elevator. Will you? 
Okay, so I can't talk to Henry. And the light just goes out and... Oh, no. It's okay. I won't make trouble going down. Yeah, thanks. Me too. It won't be. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. first yeah so <laughs> that must mean Henry is alone really you don't say back to floor five ladies first so here I am hassling some kid at his home hey Henry it's me again I'm a detective looking for Leslie hi you don't look like a detective really uh, you want to see my badge yeah, can I hold it? Sure, answer a couple of my questions. I want to, but aren't you scared of being left all alone? Mr. Flufo is always here. Want to meet him? Does he know where Leslie is? Is she okay? Can you really find her? Honestly, Henry, I don't know yet, but I promise to try my best. Okay, but don't tell Mom. Why does she want to talk about it? I don't know. She always gets mad if I ask. Were you going to say something earlier about Leslie? Mm, but Mom says Leslie made her own bed. I make my bed, too. Proud of you, bud. You mentioned someone called Mai. Leslie's friend, Mai. Do you remember her full name? Mai Louder. Wish I lived with her instead. Oh, you don't like Leslie? Maya's way cooler. She never shouted at me for making this poor. Wow, okay. Hmm. Well, none of this is your fault. I hope not. I don't want to be bad. Uh, so, little bud, you know where Maya lives? With her weird, stinky brother, Samson. Stinky or stanky? <laughs> stinky stinky. Stinky stinky how exactly? He's just a poo-poo head. Sometimes he'd knock and take my away, I mean home. You know where they lived? I don't know the address, but it's just past the Yumi, Red Door. Boom, there we go. Henry, you've made my day. Uh, if you see my... Want me to uh, tell her to visit? Yeah, don't tell her I asked, though. Of course. I think you've earned that look at my badge now. Oh yeah, yay! Really more of a shiny ID card. Still cool, bet you can do anything with this. Well, that's what I hope too. Stay in school, okay? <laughs> I have to. I look after your mom. I'll protect. Bye, Mr. Detective. You can call me Howard, but I'd rather not have dropped my name there, but he did see my ID, so let's not assume that he's an idiot. Okay, so red door. Just feel like I want to check and see if there's anything else interesting going on. Oh. Nothing else, huh? It looks like there should be a lot more going on in this game for content, but that's fine. What there is is pretty good. Like I said, my only real problem here so far is uh, just the ham-fisted political stuff. Dr. Aliyev. West End doctors, jacks of all trades, masters of none. Yeah, well, they can't afford to be masters because they have to handle everything. Gabriella. else here? Hey, Gabby. I'm busy. Yeah, I hear you. Bye. Yumi Mart. 
Yummy, yummy for your tummy. Good old yummy. Yummy. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. Nuts and veggies. CPD, stay vigilant. So it's a police box, but it doesn't look like there's anybody up there. Red door. Let me see if there's anything else going on. First of all, what's that sign back there? Come work. Future. I think it means come work for a bit. Come work together for a better future, maybe? Because it's cats and mice. Uh, I presume that is a church figure back there. For sale. Strong Paw Gem. I didn't notice that before. Lots of detail and such. Pawn 7 Eleven newsstand. Oh, hey there, Bomo. Bomo Po. Sonic Pop. Hey, look, there's another cool cat reference. Wrong cat, though. It's just cool when there's a cat. Nothing that way but sadness and sore feet. Somebody drawing painted ladies on the windows up there as though they were looking out at you. Nice touch. Who are you? What do you want? Samson? Depends who's asking. Wallace Brotor, investigative journalist. Should I level with this guy? Yeah, let's go with P.I. I don't trust your kind. Well, I'm not asking you to trust me. Ah, good. That'd be a waste of breath. I hear about your sister. Mai is not home. But she's gonna be back. Well, who do you think I am, huh? Her brother? You know Leslie Pham? Shh, careful. Anyone can be listening. Come in, come in. You got some explaining to do. Can we talk outside? No? Okay, coming in. Speak it, don't bullshit me. Oh, where's Mai? I'd like to talk to her. Why? What do you want her for? Speak. I'm investigating Leslie Pham. Mine my knows her. You have a theory? You must have a theory, and it better be good. I don't work with amateurs. What do you mean work with? She gone. You gonna help look for her or are you wasting my fucking time? You're saying Mai's also missing? Yes, you absolute fucking idiot. I'm asking again, what are your theories? Well, I think the missing girls are being killed. Fuck no, Mai would never get caught. You've been looking for her yourself? I've been looking, of course. I went to the bite. Did she work at the bite? You don't know shit, do you? What'd you find there? Just that clear so Bloodworth is a stone cold bitch? Couldn't have said it better myself. Right on, but my respected her. Why? Is it obvious she's protected? <laughs> you mean by the apes? Yes, yes, exactly. So what's on your mind? The apes are ruling their secret blood shadow alliance, but it's a well known secret. So, what's this alliance up to? Total control of every aspect of our lives. The government's a front. By night, they wear blood red cloaks and throw cannibal feasts. It's an ancient order. Well, sounds about right. You might think the apes were the only founding members of the alliance, right? Heh, <laughs> guess they didn't need an alliance with themselves. 
Well, the alliance is with the Bears, the most powerful family, which were the Bloodworths, as they're now known, hence the Blood. And where are you going with this, Samson? So, Clarissa comes from a long line of ape lovers. So much that she's fucking one. For real? Which one? Linda Wenderbolt. Okay, who is she? Prime Minister's second cousin once removed. Can you imagine? All right, I think we better get back to my. Fine, but quickly. If you're here too long, I might tip someone off. Okay. Did Maya have any close friends? I met a few, mostly factory girls, until they became bike girls. Leslie Pham was her friend. There's no way she was really friends with that slut. And see, again, we have three answers which are basically the same thing. Easy there, pal. What's your problem? Cool it. Why don't you like her? It's not okay to talk about women like that. Um, well, sorry. There are some women who are sluts. There's guys who are assholes. So, yeah. What's your problem? She made me love her, okay, to get close to mine to break us apart. And did it work? Yeah, but I saw through her plan before things between my and I got too bad. Okay, so why do you think she did it? She was always on the job, trying to butter you up so you'd visit the bite and she'd look good to her boss. All right, that seems cold. Damn straight. So you definitely don't know what happened to Leslie. No. Did anything happen between you and Mai before she went missing? What are you implying, punk? Maybe she was acting weird? Nah, things were good. Hmm, suppose her friend had just gone missing. Who? I think her name was Rose. Mai knew her well? The girls had tightened in around here. Pretty much all worked in the factory together at some point before joining that snake den. So Rose also worked at the bite. Yeah, thinking about it, I think she was the first of them to start at the bite. Maybe the other girls know something. Trust me, I've tried that lead, no dice. So how long was my at the bite? A couple of months, felt like forever. What was her job there? Started off as a waitress, got promoted within a couple of months. Yeah, to what? She wouldn't tell me, just said she worked upstairs. Did she change after that? She seemed prouder. Yeah, she was doing good, I guess. What's my like as a person? She's pure, kind, brave, a survivor, and I probably owe her my life. Your life? We grew up together. The parents went early. Hmm. How old was she? She's 19. Don't talk about her in past tense, you fucking prick. That's not what I meant, but okay. Yeah, you love her, huh? More than anything. Yeah, it's obvious you've never heard her. Of course it's fucking obvious. She feel the same way? Yeah, we shared everything. She looked up to me. But she knew when to ignore my advice, too. Strong woman, the strongest. Mind if I take a look around? Around her house? Sure, but don't touch anything or I'll fucking kill you. I won't. Aquarium. Cute lizard. Seems chill. sword on plinth. It's the blade of heroes, maybe. Or not. Photos. That must be my louder. I didn't touch it. What the hell? I just realized why you're really here. They sent you, didn't they? Who they? Howard Lotor. I see you're consistent, it doesn't prove anything. I just want to find Leslie and Mai. Who told you about the missing girls? Renee, my partner. She's a she's a writer. This is all her idea. Too many people know about this. Getting out of control. They'll come for me. If they wanted you, they'd already have you. A paranoiac would believe that. 
maybe the timing isn't right. But they'll have a plan. They know. You're right, they're out there, but we're in this together. Other people are just a liability, they just get you hurt. Now we both want the same things. I suppose you could be an asset to my work. You're the boss, man. Glad you know your place. Well, you are holding a sword to my throat. Yeah, they wouldn't know it hit him. Makes sense, makes sense. Timing has to be right, but we can't wait much longer. I'm not a wimp like you. Yeah, what's the plan? Let's split up, watch our backs, bite our time. I'll give you a lead to chase. What's the lead? The first one that went missing, Rose. Rose Clemenko. She must have started it all. Go talk to her mom. Who's her mom? You're dumb. Good you, her name is Florence. She's crazy as fuck. And a mastermind like you must know where she is. I can't do everything myself. Ask around. Yeah, thank you, Samson, for not killing me. It's chill, I got this. I'm chill, it's been real, now get the fuck out of here. Well, you are a complete psycho asshole. Also, why is it allowing me to continue to walk around? So it's like I get close to her photo and the guy flips the hell out. Seriously? That was needlessly dramatic. Hey, Bopo. Howdy, Poe's the name. News is the game. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, we're really doing this? Howdy, Poe. So what's the news on this street? Lots of excitement going around about the parade. Apparently it's sold out in record time this year. Just like every other year. Yeah, it really seems that people can't get enough. Don't you think that's suspicious? I'm here to distribute the news, not to comment on it. You got no opinion at all? Current affairs can be a complex puzzle to unravel. Let me know if you'd like something explaining. Can you explain the current economic downturn? I believe it's largely due to knock-on effects caused by poor agricultural harvest and lack of centralized stimulus. Huh, maybe that really isn't you, Mo. Pose the name, spreading the news is my game. Fine, you win. Goodbye, Mopobo. Mobopo. Notice that the people wandering around are pretty much gone. What do we have here? Nata. If you want it, it's for sale. Okay. If you need to ask, ask. Trench coat, yes, mangy or strippy. You bully my little Sid. Just taught him a lesson in libertarianism. Oh, but he didn't tell you the whole story. Oh, yes. And what's his real story then? I just needed something done and he didn't want to help. So you say Sid is dishonest, is scheming. Not saying that, he's an okay guy. He can be a little crafty, but a grown guy like you should not be bullying little child. Message received, lady. Yeah, fair enough. Now how about you, Gabriella? Looking for Florence Clemenko. Good for ya. You know her? Maybe. You know where I can find her? Why would I tell you that? Investigating the missing girls. Maybe they don't want to be found. I think Florence's daughter was the first to go missing. Good riddance. She was a pretty little leech. And what do you mean? Suck the life out of the hood. Tried to sucker me and Jade too, but we don't even falling for her shit. Working at the bike, you mean? Yeah. Gotta be real desperate to go there. Not us, mister. Nah. Well, I don't want anyone else to go missing. I can help. You can't do shit, but if you upset Florence, I will fucking skin you alive. No one deserves some peace, you get me? I get it. I'd kill for my loved ones, too. She's at the factory, like always. Don't tell her I told you. Yeah, how do I get there? Down the alley? You can see it from here. Thanks. Can't 
can't talk to him anymore. Could go in there, but there's no real reason to. Work at the factory, huh? Hmm. Well, it must not be towards the labor district or it would have let me go that way. Actually. Hey, hey, Renee spoke to Samson. Beverly's missing daughter Leslie was friends with. Mm, running my throat raw here. Coming up on four hours of stream time. Yeah, that would have been useful context. Samson's turned out to be a paranoid schizophrenic. Maya's missing two worked at the bite. All of them did. So there is a connection. First one of the missing is Rose Clemenko. I need to find her mother. Well, I know where she is. At least where I saw her before. Yep, back soon. Put the kettle on. Just calling in to report. Wait, what the hell? Go to factory. Your minute is our minute. Guard sleeping on the job. That should be easy. Just gotta find Florence. What are you doing here? Well, this will sound strange, but I'm a private investigator. I'll call the guys if you don't stop making sense. I want to find out what happened to Rose. Rosie's gone. I don't know what to tell you. You can tell me about her. Every little bit helps. You were good to me when we met. I looked through her stuff. I asked everyone. Nothing. But how long has she been missing? 20 days. Look, you gotta go. Supervisor will be here any minute. Where do you live? Can I come over to talk later. Great tenements across the world, block five. You want to see Rosie's room? Yes, that would help a lot. Damn fine. If we can sneak out now before the super is here. Let's go. Fire exit quickly. What now? Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, and then it's just skip out. All right. So, um, what's on your mind? It just feels weird, you know, having a man here again. Can you tell me about Rose? My baby girl was so sweet, strong, always took care of her mama. She wanted the best for me, but, you know, if she had any secret hiding places in the apartment? Well, okay, hang on. Best for me, but, go on. Nah, it's nothing. Isn't the time to be hiding things. She respected me, but she didn't want to follow in my footsteps. Maybe if I had done more for us, maybe, yeah, maybes are pointless, forget them. And we didn't always talk as much as we might have. I get so tired from work, she didn't want to burden me. Still not your fault. Well, she should have opened up. Well, I don't want to blame her baby girl. Still not your fault. She's so much more creative than me. Clever, too. Don't know where she got that from. Did you ever stay anywhere else? Nah, I mean, only some of the other girl places. We didn't have much, but her room was special. She called it the Dream Palace. Always had a way with words. Thanks, I'll get looking. Okay, just put stuff back where you found it. I want to keep my baby girl's room tidy. Oh, of course. Uh, she's already shrining it. Well, what's this? Is that, okay, kitchen. 
tapestry and a bong. Okay, tapestry first. Big yellow flower with thorns. Like looks like a cheap decor piece to get at a supermarket. What you mean? Oh, okay. Bong. Bong. It's a sad, empty vase. Oh wait. Oh, I see. Pictures. Uh, apparently, I went into the bathroom instead of looking at the pictures. Shower. Neglected. Hasn't been looked after in decades. Reminds me of childhood. Pot plant. Small heart-shaped leaves spilling down the plot. Look, pot. Looking pretty sad. Relatable. Uh, anything else around here? Sniffy, sniffy, sniffy. Nothing. Okay. Now pictures. White petals, small yellow center. The artist was a child, I hope. Okay. Well, probably was, actually. That is a really crappy couch. I mean... Even as far as abandoned couches go, that's pretty terrible. The Meaning of Flowers, a guide to spiritual botany for beginners. Hmm. Okay, look up the heart-shaped plant then. Hartley philodendron, species of flowering plant in the family Araceae. Or Arachia, I don't know how it's pronounced. Parts of the plant contain calcium oxalate crystals in varying concentrations, known to have a narcotic effect on rodents. Known as the sweetheart plant because of the unique heart shape of the leaves. A rose is a flowering plant of the genus Rosa, family Rosacea, rose plants, yada yada. White flower. Bellus perennis. Common species of daisy. Considered a corruption of day's eye because the whole head closes at night and opens in the morning. Daisy is also commonly known as Mary's rose. Hmm. If I turn on the lights, I can feed and meet a friendly family of cockroaches. So I'm getting the impression that flowers are very important to this story here. Hmm, terminal. Why is the terminal still on? Or is it? Well, the tower looks like it. Welcome, Rose. Enter your password. Password 123. The universe that exploded in your head keeps singing the tune to never. There's lots of cats you on the wall, so incorrect. Okay, I need to look around. I wonder how it feels. Monkey boys, when dirty. finally we're done. Cuddle boys, shit Larry and I used to blast them in our dorm. Good times. Um, uh, anything else? Hello, bird. Chirp. Is that it? You just chirp at the bird? What's your name? I wonder, you miss her, huh? Do they know? Yep. Rose 
liberty. I wonder if they'll I'm sure you're pretty too, and your name is Boing. Your name is Boing. Boing, 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 weep. And you know Boing isn't a name. A birdie birdie is Ignis. Or Ignis go for the eyes. Those are working with the Ignis. Welcome back, Rose. There we go. Okay. Let's look at school for Let's just go through the whole thing, huh? Is it going to let me? Nope, it's not. Ten oh two fifteen, huh? Which century? the follow there, Tiger in Man's Clothing. You wonder how it sounds. I just wanted to listen to the music going here. I wonder how it feels. Oh, wait. When finally we're dying. Life beyond the wall, and I want to live it with you. Okay, so they're talking about going beyond the wall, which is the border of the city. Boss knows about us. She mentioned a scavenger that helps people like you and me. Well, Rose was working at the bite. Her boss, who's also a lesbian would have been um, would have been the Baron my, my brain is forgetting her name so she mentioned the scavenger that helps people hmm well, now work has ah there we go now it expands incidentally okay can't do anything with that Work clients. Suddenly there's a lot of information here. Buster Carpenter. Interior security thug. VIP public appearance liaison. Complete asshole. Good whiskey, monkey butt, always trying to touch the girls. Brags about who he's been bodyguard to. Mainly mid-level politicians who have been doing things they shouldn't. Good source of tip-offs, keep happy. Hmm. No, so it's not tips, that's tip-offs. Frederick Muller, accountant, creepy accountant, talks very little, doesn't bother with the girls directly, but stares. No one likes him. Luckily, he's a lightweight. Hmm. Manages funds for a few apes, science minister included, and hinted at knowing about the finances of the bite. Hoping he'll slip up and overshare at some point. Wow, you really are keeping tabs, aren't you? Waves money around like it's nothing. Science City family has so many great sorts of information. Blacklisted. Warren Wolf, huh? I've only met one wolf so far. 
Possessive prick got aggressive and started raising his hands at both girls and other customers. Boss threw him out. Hmm. Guy Slipper, really, police chief. Talks shit about interior security. Also complains about science minister having him by the balls. Okay. Well, don't go to the police for anything then. Yeah, I'm not playing that myself. That is in the game. There is quite a bit of good music in the game. Let's see here. Ask Gina to try and track specifics about his relationship with Science Minister. Why are you data mining these clients? Huh. Project Artifact? What the fuck could that be? Science Minister Doug Rogers. Careful, respectful of girls, restraint drinks only in moderation. Secretive enters through the back alley, only ever requests Leslie. Boss is direct liaison. No one else allowed to speak with him. Seems to know Boss well. Leslie doesn't like talking about him. Leslie spilled he mentioned Project Artifact once and then shut down. Bruce Vert, the traffic minister. These are all people who uh, go to a bar called The Bite, which also deals in drugs and appears to be deeply in, uh, deeply embedded in the governmental system of this world. Bragg's about his close working relationship with the science minister. As the science minister, much of this appears to revolve around possibly involved in a cult in which itself involves, uh, well, the furry version of human sacrifice and cannibalism. So, yeah. Only drink sweet stuff, no whiskey or beer. And the girls at this place are trying to get information out of the clients without them knowing. Ian McFerry, lawyer, has a thing for Gina, married with children, does monkey butt like he's sipping tea. Harmless for a lawyer, so Gina's a good fit, owns his own firm, deals almost exclusively with apes and high city officials. Has visited with both Bert and Stokes. Eddie Hung. Ah, the head of biochemistry. That's the guy we're looking for. A family man. Likes to get drunk and cry on a girl's shoulder. Seems terrified on the, of science minister. Boss told us to keep him sweet. Aha. Uh -huh. Mentioned project artifact to baby Gina. That's twice now. Must be working on this with minister. Yeah, that is the guy that they moved over to get DNA and genetics work done. Treasure, insufferably smug. Food and drink is never good enough, but keeps ordering the same thing. Everyone hates him. He throws tips around left and right. Definitely spends money other than his own. Hey, taxpayer expenses, right? Yeah. Came in with Mueller a, full time, a few times. Asked for private rooms. Mueller. He's the accountant. Okay, that makes sense. Finance minister and the accountant. All right. Dream team. Hit me, angry lady with big butt. Baby Gina, patient with the men, maybe too patient. High drug sales, not sure how that happens. Sensitive, try not to give her rowdy men, not a factory girl. Moved to West End recently. Leslie Pham, factory girl, close to my louder. Hmm. Yeah, her brother is possessive. He's a little crazy. Operation. Oh, okay. Rose had a system. It wasn't all Clarissa. I will feel sick again. <laughs> Team. Hire attractive, loyal girls that know how to make men talk. Start with factory quick. Offer good pay. No sex work. Just listening, flirting, and reporting. So, passive intel, in other words. Intel boss has access to monkey butt supply. 
Helps loosen tongues. Mix 50-50 with hype to make addictive. 70-25 wouldn't hook to make them spill. Never let girls try it. Wow, okay. Hmm. So using the bite as a front to get these guys hooked on drugs to get information out of them. Sources, create super exclusive VIP brand to attract the big boys. Reward with ac guaranteed access to their favorite girls. Honestly, that doesn't seem like it'd be that big of a deal for bait. Deadbeats. Boss will send up candidates, get one or two special girls to get them hooked, find out if they'd ever be missed. Aha. Uh -huh. One. Okay, when we're sure, invite them to room two with the painting and call Sue's. Well, the painting... That was a secret door that led to a lift, and that was how we found out that they were chopping people up. Bore, every first favorite subject. Yeah, right. Uh, let's see. No way did Rose and some other girl go over the wall. Contact name Dio. Meet under the bridge on, on the 5th at 12. She'll take us beyond the wall. Password Daisy Bloom. Well, that looks like just about everything here. Yeah. Well, let's talk with Florence here. Did you learn anything at all? Rose was spying on customers at the bite. How'd you? There were secret files on her terminal. What now? Why would she hide them? Because it was blackmail material and plenty of it. <laughs> I always did tell her to look after her own back. <laughs> Good girl. So, do you think she's alive? I think she's gone into hiding. Hiding? Where for how long? Is she in danger? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'm not going to ask all about your personal business, but if you mean it, thank you. I ain't got no one else looking out for me. I'll do my best, Florence. Is there anything else back here? Nope. Nothing, really. That room existed to provide one clue option. Are you all right? Yeah, let's talk case. What's the connection between the girls? They all worked at the bite together. It's a great find. How do you know? Why is that important? <clears throat> because Rose Clemenko recruited them all. So, do we know something about Rose that sheds light on it all? She's Clarissa's right-hand woman for the VIP area. Upstairs of the bite? Sure, but what does that position mean to Rose? I mean, she could get the girls to tell her all kinds of intel on the guests. Hmm. Bear with me. The bite had two types of clients. <clears throat> the haves and the have-nots. Rich ones were mined for blackmail material, like the police chief and folks from Science City. It's an ingenious setup, to be fair. Poor ones no one would miss were slaughtered for flesh. 
I wouldn't call Jeremy poor. He was a banker. And he wasn't rich, but he was middle class. And don't leave me in suspense. Did you find it? Uh, frankly, poor people didn't get into the bite at all. So, okay, senior scientist named Eddie Hung. So it's Eddie's deal. Both his and the minister's files mention Project Artifacts. Hmm. What do you think it is? No idea. He's a biochemist. That's all we know. Oh, wait, is that the same guy from the Science City report we found in the minister's files? Must be. Genes, proteins, biochemistry. Checks out. We have to look into what this Project Artifact entails. Clearly, Clarissa is interested in it. Deal. Did you learn what happened to the girls? I think they escaped beyond the wall. Fuck hell, why? Someone called Dio smuggled them out. I sure like to ask this Dio some questions. Same, but I got no leads on them at all. To process, we need a new plan. And fast, we're catching up to the truth, can't slow down. Damn, there's still so much we don't know. He did great though, especially to not get killed. I'm proud of that part. So you should be, but let's talk steps. Eddie Hung, learning about Project Artifact. Don't we already have enough? No, we don't have enough evidence. It's all been leading to this. I'm ready. You want to go over the facts? Get everything straight in your head? Sure, you can never be too prepared. Hmm. What do you want to talk about? Well, the science city. Something important to the science ape and Clarissa is going down there. We need to see for ourselves. Could any hung? He keeps coming up with with the alien thing whenever this comes up. It, it's probably legit, but I'm going to ignore it. Could any hung be playing for both sides? It's my hunch, too. Whoever he is, I doubt he's happy about it. What do we know about Clarissa? She's in cahoots with the science minister. Loves spying on everyone. Knows about Project Artifact. And she doesn't trust the science minister. No way. Trying to use them most likely to get leverage over the apes in general. Okay, how about the missing girls? They got out beyond the fucking wall? And they were being used as spies and drug pushers. How did Clarissa let them go so easily? Anyway, that's not the priority right now. So don't we have already plenty of evidence? What we have is knowledge that's very different to convincing proof, and that's true. Uh, here, the police report about missing people. Doesn't say a word about Clarissa. It's way too vague to warrant a public outcry. Oh, we can connect Clarissa's murder basement to the apes. And how are we going to prove that to the public or the police? Uh, will Lewis, in fact, testify? I doubt it. And the families of people who were killed, they would support us, but they wouldn't know, they wouldn't amount to proof. Let's go with Lewis. Lewis, he spilled to you, but Clarissa's probably already covered up that whole front. Okay, the science minister and his cronies are eating people, and they are. Right, imagine convincing the press or the public of that. Well, the maid Bajwa, she must be a weak link. You have no idea how much she knows. I saw her cutting up the meat. And what would be her incentive for self-sabotaging her cushy position? Yeah, fuck, we got nothing? We give up now? Well, it's all been for nothing. We still have a lead. Fine, let's follow it. I'm ta done talking. Let's plan. You pay Eddie a visit at the Science City and find the answers. Then we'll get the word out. The rest is up to the general public. Yeah, that's not likely to do anything. How do I even get into Science City? And even if I find Eddie, how do I make him talk? Well, first things first. 
Just employ your usual charm. Oh, sure, charm my way into a top secret lab. Your sarcasm is noted and not appreciated. Just do whatever it takes. It'll be our biggest chance to corner Clarissa. You make it sound so simple. Fundamentally, it is. You're a good detective. You'll figure it out. Or we destroy Clarissa now. Or we could just live a normal life. Or let's fucking go. If we destroy Clarissa now, it just uh, cuts off one part of the Hydra head. And I don't think we could destroy Clarissa. So let's fucking go. That's the spirit. But before I do anything, I need to eat and sleep. You'll sleep when you're dead. I'll go grab something at the bodega. Put your feet up until I'm back. You've earned it for once. Oh, give me a break. Yep, it's coming up. I'm finishing the chapter. Busy now. I'll call you back tomorrow. Bye. Will you? Hmm. Is this the point where we have the sudden yet inevitable betrayal? Nice day. Maybe everything will be fine. I sincerely doubt it. What about the cork board? Science City Tour! Probably the easiest way in, unless you're a genius or just the right kind. By kind, they mean species. Girl missing. Why does it have numbers here? Hang on a minute. Girl missing. Four, two, six, six, three, seven. What's outside the wall? Call editor. The perimeter over here. The wall. What's out there? What's really out there? What aren't they telling us? Keep your noodles, your delicious, savory noodles. Okay, well, let's see what else we got going here. Tea kettle. Imagine making tea without one. Okay, that's just a minor comment. Mugs. Each mug a memory. Well, it looks like I have no other real option except to read a newspaper. Yep, that's not Renee. Shit. Here we go. Clarissa, well, aren't you going to offer me some tea? Ah, yes, where are my manners? I'm sure you'll find them, but first tea. Makes a tea. Let's see. How about the ape of the year mug? She seems calm. Better keep her that way. But how nice would it feel to hit her in the face? Well, let's see, um, hot scalding water, dude with a gun pointed at you, backstep and splash. Nope, guess not. 
I mean, if you figure you're going to die anyways, you might as well go ahead and take your shot. Oh, an interesting mug. I wonder where you got it. In the Ape of the Year competition, obviously, which I won. Now, Howard Lotor. This is going to be a very linear conference. They all are. I ask questions and you answer, and remember, I know when you're lying. Is that clear? Yeah, could you repeat that? Question number one. Do you know why I'm here? You heard I brew a mean tea. I was planning on keeping this polite, but if you will be flippant, maybe I'll have to try a more direct approach. You want to know what your weak spots are? I don't have any. You're a newbie private dick with a photography degree. Who hired you? The fine people of the city. How very noble. What is her name? You're not making any sense. If you're not cooperating, then you're not useful to me. Now be careful with what you say next. Ellen Abramson. Good. If it's not, Suze will make you regret lying. It's the truth, far as I know. Yes, let's talk about what you know and what you've found out. You tell me. How tiresome. You snooped around my bar, you coerced my shopkeeper, and you spread rumors about me all over West End. Uh, see, it doesn't give me a real option. It's like, wasn't easy. Good boy, what else did you find? Give me the full picture of your sophisticated ex investigation. I looked into one of your buyers too, Minister of Science. Mm, you really are quite resourceful. So the minister, what did you find? He has terrible taste in upholstery. He's researching something. Do you know what and why? Aliens! Don't be melodramatic. I'm gonna use the aliens line. Don't be melodramatic. Here's an offer. You work for me and find out the truth. Hmm. I know what working for you is like. It's not appealing. I know when people need a leash, but I have partners who are given free reign, too. And what do I get in return? Since I'm... The, the truth about you will come out one day like, like it, a villain actually cares. So what do I get in return? You get to do what you're best at for a good cause, and I'll keep you safe. Give it time and think. I don't need you to keep me safe, and the answer is no, huh? Well, let's go with this. I still hope you'll see sense. Give it time and think. Anything else I can help you with? Final question. So much misguided effort spent pursuing only the shadow of the big picture... I need to know that people get what they deserve. And I urge you to think carefully about my offer and about what you deserve. See you around, Mr. Lotor. Send your mom my regards. Goodbye, Clarissa. I see you found your manners. Good. Suze, say goodbye to Mr. Lotor. Take it away, Suze. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no. This guy gets beat up a lot. He's a, he's a PI who apparently doesn't know how to fight at all. And is not really capable of taking a punch. No, I mean, he's not dead, but there's that. Okay, fuck, Renee is not coming back. I gotta continue, can't stop now. Uh, my suspicion from the beginning was that Renee was actually working for her. I met Renee in the bar. It wouldn't be impossible for Renee to actually be on her paycheck and simply have uh, given her all this information right after taking off. And in fact, uh, her speech on that phone was probably to her, letting her know that she was leaving. Yeah, definitely not Sam Spade. Ugh, um, I'll be right back. I am going to go ahead and get some more coffee here. And I'll try and run this for at least another half hour. I've been running my throat raw. Mm. 
It's a very story-driven game here, kind of obviously. Most, most good noir detective stories are. And also I've been trying to do voices. Well, nothing to do but call Anatoly, so... Hello, Anatoly, it is Quick Wheelies here! Hey, it's Howard. Oh no, sad voice. What happened, partner? You want me to get you some cocoa? I need your help. Anything for you, friend. Tell me. Spill the beans. Fill up my cup with garbanzos. Let's go. I am here. Uh, can you pick me up tomorrow? Oh, yeah. What's the plan? Where are we headed? Science City. Whoa. Same place at nine, then. Yeah, and one more thing. Yes, buddy. Get you some headache pills. Can we go bowling? Go see American girls with big titties. Can you get me something for personal safety? Uh, I'm going to be blunt. Can you get me a gun? Oh, I'll see what I can do. You want to tell me what's up? Sorry, friend. Can't talk to you tomorrow. Sure thing, buddy. Oh, I understand. Now go and rest them bones, okay? Yeah, thank you. Bye. Yeah, so far I got Act 3 Artifact. Mm. Did you bring it? Yeah, check the glove box. You know how to use it? I do. Goody. Sometimes folks forget things in this cab. Things with uh, serial numbers filed down. Crazy, drop me up at the Science City entrance. Then wait on Granville. Granville, the parade's on today, remember? Main Street's too crowded for cabs. Well, let's see if we can find an empty alley. Oh, an alley? Stay safe. Science City! They, they have, it's, it's all huge. So, time to blend in and keep a low profile. I need to find Eddie, whatever it takes. Mmm. <clears throat> You know, I may cut it here for the evening because this is probably a good start. Actually, I probably should have uh, cut it before even getting the cab. Let me see here. Hang on. Conti uh, yeah, I can continue or do a new game. That's it. It's, uh, you are stuck with whatever choices you made at any given point. Although I have to point out that I do have two issues with this game so far that I was going to mention before. One is that it is very, very, very linear. There's a lot of illusion of choice going on, and it's pretty in your face about it. Basically, most of the time, if you read what the choices are to a given dialogue, it's, it's about tone. It's not even what you get to say. There, there's not a lot of choice. It's telling a story and you're more along for the ride than much of anything else. The puzzles are pretty bog standard. There's a couple that actually take some thought to work out. But, uh, yeah, mostly it is the quality of the art is very good. The voice acting, where there is any, is good. The music is good. Uh... Some of the writing so far, though, and some of the dialogue has been kind of cringy. Not gonna lie. For, uh, for the most part, it's okay. But, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and stick it out for a little bit here. But I'm definitely getting a really raw throat, so... Let's see. Join the tour. The tour will start in a minute. What if I don't join the tour? Then I run into this guy, and that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay. Join the linear tour. Welcome once again to Science City, where we imagine tomorrow. 
please pay attention. Do not attempt to leave the group. And enjoy. Follow me. I have a quick question. I will be encouraging questions after our first stop. Do not interrupt me. Okay. Here we have a stunning mosaic depicting the Great Shepherd, commissioned ten years ago by the previous science minister. Let's discuss the symbolism of it. The split crook is a symbol from which the shepherd gets his name. The inner fire represents the shepherd's wrath over the unruly, and of course, the scales of fate with which he weighed each of his new proclamations. And behind it all, the glorious wall, the shepherd's great work, which figuratively and literally protects his followers from the malicious influences of the outside world. Wait, does the rest of the world hurt eight furries? Yeah. Yeah, you see a lot of well-crafted, in terms of the aesthetics and everything else, a lot of stuff that looks really good and sounds really good, and then you get into it, it's not really a role-playing game. It's just a story, and you're along for the ride. Before we move on, any questions? Was there something you didn't understand? Um, what's up with the fruit? You didn't mention that. It represents the shepherd's love and understanding of nature. Grapes, pears, apples, all delicious, nurturing, and native to the land. What's with the cogs and steam? That section depicts industry, the great work and scientific advancement our kinds are capable of. Uh, where are the toilets? Ahem, there will be a scheduled bathroom break later in the tour. What's a mosaic? The image is made up of many thousands of tiny pieces of painted porcelain, a ceramic made from heated clay, very time-consuming, but our praise to the shepherd cannot be rushed. I noticed she... Uh, okay. This bust was erected in honor of Harrison Jeffers, one of the founding committee. You don't mean this guy, because that's not a bust. That's an entire statue. A bust would just be his head. Okay. Jeffers was lifetime devotee of sacred geometry and designed the interior architecture to mimic natural processes and structures. Which I got completely backwards, but it still works. Uh, what's sacred geometry? It's the concept of recurring patterns found throughout the natural world. Oh, like the golden number. When used in architectural design, it's said to evoke feelings of calm and wholeness. Uh, so what else did he build? His most notable other works are the City Art Gallery and Sun Tower buildings. He was the most prolific architecture. Architect, yeah, the, the most prolific architecture would mean that he's a building of his generation. When is the scheduled toilet break? Sir, please all announce it. The allotted stop of the tour. I do trust you can cope until then. Golden mean, yes. But the golden mean is a number. Fibonacci. I think you mean the golden meme. Wait, 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 okay, you were literally assaulted by Dishonored fanboys? I mean, were you at a convention and said, the game sucks, and then a mob descended on you pummeling and punching, and you had to bite and slash your way through the mob to get to safety? Because that would have been awesome. Oh, I had a question. If our science gets advanced enough, will we be as powerful as the Shepherd? Yeah, will we? Well, now, in many ways, we already are, given we all carry the shepherd within our hearts. Each technological advance is a shared glory. Glory to the shepherd. 
There's plenty of fascinating sights still to come, but don't forget to stop by the gift shop afterwards and commemorate the visit with a miniature replica of the building. Uh, wouldn't it be more make more sense to exit through the gift shop? Look, I don't plan the tour route, okay? I just do the script. You want to take over? Can I buy a tour of the labs? I'm afraid that is not on our list of VIP experience days, no. The labs are a sensitive working environment, so should we go? Everyone ready to continue? Let's go! Oh, they, they literally wrote at you. So, um, they threw, they threw pointed commentary and barbed words. Here you can see a perfectly scaled replica of the entire building. Um, isn't that the building from Ghostbusters? Although I don't remember that one having a roof on the very top. Besides the actual laboratories, you might notice the amenities for the families that live here, such as rooftop gardens and sports facilities. So, are the families allowed to leave? What? Of course. Although the facilities are such, they rarely need to. We spare no expense when it comes to those responsible for the scientific advancement of our city. Oh, this place is huge. The building is 112.47 meters tall and contains 17 floors. The replica is perfectly proportional. Nice. Folks out here have everything. Absolutely, we're very proud of the support we're able to provide the city's brightest minds. I wanted to ask, how many people work and live here? I'm, I'm going to keep uh, quiet on that one. Current residential population is 287, out of which 81 are working here. We have the means to accommodate more as our family grows too. Really, you've got a 17th floor building and you've got fewer than 300 people living this? So they have empty rooms? What a waste of living space. They have a lot of empty rooms. Moving on, this lab has been specifically set up to give you an idea of what's going on in the upper levels. It's a real working environment. Aha! But of course, it's only being used for routine calculations. Plenty of what we do here is very sensitive and potentially disturbing to the untrained eye, after all. Yeah, how disturbing. When do we see Gozer? I want to see Gozer. Yeah, 287 of the right kind. Tiger, have you uh, have you played this already? <laughs> yeah, not proper dimensions. It's just that experiments can often look intimidating when they're actually perfectly safe and controlled. You mean when you have all this arcing lightning going on for no particularly good reason? So what's being worked on for real? All manner of exciting but confidential developments. Keep your eyes on the news. I'm sure it won't be long until another great discovery. Okay. Look, a diagram of a microscope. Let's look closer at life within Science City. Have you ever wondered what one of our famous scientist living quarters looks like? I, I've always wondered. Ah, well... You're probably going to enjoy it. I, I will give one piece of advice. Use the box. Yes, it's not real science without zappy stuff. Lightning! Bring forth the spark of invention! <laughs> okay, well, now you can find out. Each room is full of experimental technology and appliances being tested before being made available to the general public. So the residents are being tested on. That's certainly one way of putting it, uh, but I assure you, only for their own benefit. You won't hear any complaints from our residents. So normal people can't live here, ever? No, sir, as I said before, the accommodation here is reserved for Science City workers and their families. Can I see what their labs look like? We displayed an example laboratory set up for precisely that reason. Toilets! Well, 
now stop for a short refreshment break. The restrooms are around the corner. We'll resume the tour in five minutes sharp. Finally, it was getting close. I sometimes have bathroom issues. Don't wait up. I think it's number two. Don't wait for me. Ahem, just catch up with us down the hall, sir, or don't. Yeah, it looks like some of these folks also liberated some of Tesla's works. After he died. Drinks and six, all right. Uh, shine, sir? Is it that? It's a shoe shine machine, okay. Well, time to use the crapper. Hide in the toilet until they leave, just like in the good old school days. You mean the one that says staff only? Okay, biochemistry labs, four or five. Enter the elevator. Where are you, Eddie? Well, lab one, lab two. Mm. Newspaper. Might have a read later. Sonic. That's not Sonic. Praise science. Nowhere is safe from this propaganda shit. It's it's science. What what propaganda are we talking about? Up oh, garden. I don't think I want to be here. Mm, anything back this way? Nothing. Lab one testing. Microbio and botanical. Microbiology lab. So biology, but small. Testing lab. What are they testing in there? Doesn't matter. I have a gun. <laughs> I passed the test. My answer is nine millimeter. People are terrible and plants are our only hope. No way of knowing whether Eddie works in any of these. Okay, well. Um, apparently that's all I can do here. Hmm. Eddie! Pond. Fishies! Matt, Alex, lots of bears. Stop bears. If I start, I won't be able to stop. I have work to do. Really? Eddie! Let me just take a look around here for a minute. The wall looks beautiful today. I mean... Okay, is that supposed to be a statue of a Pegasus seen from behind there? As I recall, this all pretty much takes place in Vancouver, so... That looks like a horse to me. But there are no uplifted horses that I've met yet. I'm on my break. Dr. Hung, I'd like to get some advice. Oh my gosh, are you who I think you are? I don't know, and I don't particularly care to know. I'm sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Hang. Dr. Hung, kids these days. You too, Eddie. He just walked off. Oh man. Fine day for it, sir. Are you the gardener here? I'm going to ask the guy who's got the gardening kit and the gardening trowel and the gardening apron. And proud of it. Three years next week, our green spaces have really come a long way in that time. If I may say so myself. You may say so yourself. Well, I started a systematic repulting of the existing plants, but my main achievement is my cross-pollination program. Oh, what's that involve? 
making little tiny plant mutants. No, that sounds scary. Basically, I'm making crossbreeds of various kinds of plants. Isn't that dangerous? Not really. Nothing will grow huge and try and eat you. Nope, I think I'm pretty confident. Are you keeping a record of all this? I've already got about 10 field notebooks tracking the varietal and crosses and so I can figure out which traits are dominant or recessive. It's very cool. Hey, do you know Eddie Hung? I really don't go in for gossip. I just focus on the green people. This isn't gossip, it's important. Sorry, sir, even if I knew who the guy was, I really try to mind my own business. No, that's okay. I'm so sorry I can't help. I'll just go back to pruning. Well, a decent chap. Matthew, Maddie, my boy. Howdy, you lost too? Me? How are you lost? I got separated from the tour group somehow. I'm not in trouble, am I? Dude, there was nobody who looked like you in the tour group. Huge trouble. The most trouble. <laughs> Three, you make it sound so easy. Oh, I just got distracted looking at stuff. I don't want to try out the elevator, and here I am. You have a talent. I know, I know. Pops is always telling me your head would be set sail if it wasn't tethered to your neck. Ha! Oh, would you take a photo, please? A photo of you? Yeah, make sure to get the cool view in the shot. I'd better not, germs. Fair enough. I have to take one of myself. Probably there was a cool name for that kind of photo. Sell photos. Me snaps. This is a stupid idea. That's so rad. I'm totally using that from now on. It's yours. Bye. And it, what was it? Okay, there's that uh, that symbol again. Looks kind of Illuminati-ish. Hmm. Okay, that horse sculpture is actually right here. That's definitely a Pegasus. Hmm. Bethany. Are you lost? It doesn't look like you should be up here. I'm helping Eddie Hung. Oh, that's interesting. I know he's been stressed lately. Glad he's getting some support. And what's he like? He's respected, smart. I heard he's caught the eye of some powerful people recently. I just hope he knows how to handle it. Anything else I should know about him? Not from me. Anyone I should watch out for? <laughs> I'll let you figure it out yourself. That's part of the fun. Any other tips for a newbie? Work hard, kiss ass, don't fuck up. That I can do. That's the spirit. What's life like here? We've got all the amenities, it's safe. People have here have education, supposedly. What are you implying? Nothing you don't already know about yourself. Well, I better go. Don't want to be late on the, eh, what kind of work goes on. Intense science. How long have you been a scientist? Since straight out of school, runs in the family. Upholding a tradition. Yes, you understand. I better go. Don't want to be late on my first day. Hmm, be seeing you, I guess. Bye. And then I don't go in the direction that work would be. What does that even say? Chicory? Oh, it even says chicory stand. Okay. Wish I had time for a cuppa, a cup of chicory. Wait, what? PSC. Why do I feel like I should know what that is? Hmm. Where did he go? Well, I only have the option to read the newspaper. 
Which, there's no reason that I would do this if I'm looking for Eddie Hung. But in fact, that is how he simply appears. I mean, that was him, was it not? Um, he's alone. This is my chance. Is he? Threaten Eddie. I guess I have no other option. Wait, what? He wasn't even standing there. What the hell? Okay. So my option is to pull a gun on a guy. Is this necessary? What do you want? Shut the fuck up! <clears throat> um, cable. And restrain. I mean, this is ex. Do I even have to say how linear this is? They didn't even need me to do that. I could have just already had him tied up in here. The hell is that? Equipment. What are these machines for? Well, one is my radio, the other is a signal generator. Looking at here, a new virus perhaps? It's a plant cell. The green clumps are merely nucleosis and chloroplast. What are these plants? It's basic sea algae. I'm testing photosynthesis. Now let's see if I can get the truth out of you. Well, you're not doing a good job because you're not a scientist and you don't know how any of this works. But apparently I had to look into all that stuff before I could even start talking. Who are you? Nah. None of your business, I ask you answer. Okay, just don't get angry if the answers don't fit conveniently together. What's Project Artifact? Where did you invent such a fanciful name? Oh, I saw it in the Science Minister's documents. Ludicrous. Where could you have seen those, anyway? Even such a project exists, I'm certainly, I'm sure I'm not privy to it. Do you want to get hurt? No, I do not. I also really honestly don't know what you're talking about. Tell me about yourself, Eddie. I'm a biochemist, worked here virtually my whole life. And I'm a devoted family man. I happen to know he's lying through his teeth. And how did you get into the field? Aptitude, that's always in demand. It's a safe niche. It helps people. Sure, and you're well-placed to run a side hustle. I only do what I told. I'm told. Then you better do what I tell you. Of course. What's your relationship to the science minister? I'm just a research scientist. Why would I have a relationship with you? Because he asked you to keep a secret. Did I told you if he didn't, would you believe me anyway? You take secret orders from him directly. No, there are strict protocols here. Chief Tanner is final oversight. I have a copy of a report you made directly and only to the minister. What? How? I mean, sure, of course he gets copies of my reports. It's not like he replies. The minister warns you to never reveal what he's researching. Look, I'm doing important work here. Work that will help us fight disease, understand our bodies. I'm just doing my job. I'll be the judge of that. I'm being honest with you. Okay, what's your connection to Clarissa Bloodworth? Connection? I've never met her. Not even at the bite. I've never been there. Maybe Gina took you for someone else. Um, who? Go from the bite? The one you liked? You're a fucking liar, Eddie. 
I'm sorry it doesn't fit nicely with your conspiracy theory, but I'm telling you the truth. I know you're not. What? Don't be ridiculous. Clarissa and the science minister are using you. I don't understand what you're saying. Clarissa has blackmail on you. You write reports about Project Artifact to the minister directly. Come on. You do seem to have been quite resourceful in your research very well. Perhaps there is something I've truly not considered. So what does Clarissa have on you? <laughs> well, it's not really an interrogation if you can't pistol whip somebody, right? You know how it goes. It's my own damn fault. What did you do, Eddie? Look, I love my wife. I never acted on it, but I developed feelings for Gina. It was devouring me inside, so I told her so Clarissa knows. But there was no evidence? No, but a seed of doubt in my wife's mind would be just as harmful. I thought about what I stood to lose my family and decided it wasn't worth the risk. And would they... Why would they tell your wife to get me to cooperate with Clarissa's request, which is... I feed her updates on any big discoveries here at the lab. <clears throat> so you're a double agent. She's as bad as the minister. Neither of them really care for the science. They only think about how it can advance their positions. Well, I'm gonna fuck up their positions. That's naive. Their positions are unfuckable for now. And what are you researching here? There's no such thing as someone who is unfuckable. Except possibly Patrick J. Buchanan. No, he was married at one point. Mm. I'm trying to reverse engineer the artifact. Wait, reverse? We're not sure who made it. It was found beyond the wall. So what is it? Technology with far-reaching social implications. Do you really want the technical details? Of course I fucking do. The artifact has the potential to rewrite the definition of a kind. I think it can be used to safely reconfigure the DNA expression of a living being. Oh, can it make me a unicorn? Well, I'm a unicorn. He's not. He's a raccoon. Reconfigure into what? It's going to be easier if I show you. I don't know if I can trust you. That's all I've ever wanted. I'm not an action hero. I'll show you the artifact because I want your information. It's an initially beneficial exchange. Untie me, there's a secret entrance behind the shelf to the left. Okay. Base 10 number pad. Go to secret lab. Okie dokie. Hey, look, lizards. Ah, yes, my lizards. And what are you doing? Might be easier to explain by showing you what happens to them. I think lizards are awesome! I hope it doesn't upset, upset you to learn that they're valuable research specimens. Oh, hey, look. Weird skull. Fascinating, is it not? Ah, uh, you mean the human skull. Aliens! And whose skull is this? Either some kind of an ancestor or an extinct kind. Never seen anything like this. Show me the artifact. Lizard man. This is Daryl 5. Eddie, what the ever living fuck am I looking at here? This is what the minister has me working on. I thought you were a biochemist. And no offense, but it's going to take a lot of explaining. And start explaining. We're experimenting with recombinant DNA, splicing species. Daryl 5 is a combination of a lizard and a canine. Okay. Why? It's the artifact. I control it. I teach it. And what is the artifact? See for yourself. 
It's there in the hazmat tent. Quarantine dome. The artifact is highly sensitive, but it's kept in a carefully controlled and protected environment because it's the greatest scientific puzzle and opportunity of our time, and I alone get to study it. So, what do you know so far? It's advanced organic biotechnology, rapidly reforms organisms, but we haven't found out its patterns or intent yet. Aliens! I fucking knew it! <laughs> well, to them, human beings would be aliens, so... I'm not gonna go there yet. Who found it? I don't know. I'm as in the, as in the dark as you exactly where it was found. You could have made it. I have my own private theories, but pointless to speculate. Yeah, okay, aliens, I fucking knew it. No, not aliens. The processes, e processes it uses are advanced, but they're still within the confines of our understanding of biology. That doesn't mean it can't be aliens! The lizard men are real! Get the guns, ETs are coming! This is why you never let trust the dang dirty greys! Little creepy bastards always making off with our cattle. It's not easy to look at, just so you know. I look at myself in the mirror every day. I'll be okay. Mm -hmm, just be careful. Don't touch anything. Okie dokie. So you're going to touch it. Of course you're going to touch it. And, yeah. You know, for a private investigator, I can be pretty fucking stupid, apparently. Furman and Sons, new objective. Find Anatoly. Okay, wait... What the hell? Okay, there I am. I can't go backwards, that's interesting. So this is the parade, why would I be here? That is supposed to be the shepherd. Gee, looks like it's referencing a nuclear holocaust, doesn't it? backwards, I can only go forwards. Of 
Call mom. Well, I did that. Not sure what's supposed to be going on here. Although it's definitely become a float at this point. Oh, hey, look. It looks like I found Anatoly. We change, but we change nothing. I'm home with mom. She is young, and the air smells of potato soup. Her hands are warm. I look into her eyes. Your glint slides through the thin loose of air. An apparition made of tiny gas moves through you. You can feel her face slipping from your memory. Well, I want to be remembered. I want to remember. Thou no memories, only lies you tell yourself, a narrative to keep you complacent, docile, normal, everything dies but you. Well, I imagine the memory of her. The face is covered in thin red veil. Black gaping mouth is laughing at you. How silly, how small, how insignificant. Hey, Mom. You change, but you change nothing. Eh, I don't want to change. It's always the last time that you see everyone. There's always and never again. Well, I exist again. Wow. Okay, is this uh, just some perpendicular thing going on, or is this is this what we are now? Mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. The sole purpose of my existence is so you can gaze upon yourself through me. I'm here for you. I will always be here for you. Your face looks different. Your body is transforming. You're being stuck in perpetual becoming. You don't recognize yourself, but that's all right. Oh, I'll try to recognize myself. Not much is left. Some parts are still there lingering echoes in cavern deep down pronounced. I am, I am, I am, and nobody can hear you scream. Well, might as well. Hmm. Refocus the gaze. Take another look. Let me know what you think. Scars of lives lived, paths taken, words pronounced. Newborn flesh ripping through seams, discovering boundaries of what it means to be you. Frickin' TF furries. Look deep into my eyes. Your dilated pupils reflect dim light coming from opening intent. Your irises are unstable liquid spheres of muddy color. Touchy defeats. Fingers stick to the surface of your cheek, tissue stretching as you rip out the small patch of flesh, which immediately grows back. Mm, well, let me take a look at my back. Multiple bulbous tumors are tearing through your shirt, pulsating, hungering for control over your lean, dehydrated flesh vessel. I'm going to touch them! Wet, malleable, greasy tissue. Fingers make indentations on doughy exterior. Something inside of it is pushing back with force. So, uh, sm can I smell the tumors? How do I get my nose around to it, and do I want to know how? Every person has distinct scent. Yours is different now. Is something new commanding your being in yet unknown directions? So, hey, tumors, how's it going? The flesh speaks again, but in language you can't understand. All right, goodbye, old friend. I will see you again when skies reach the horizon. 
Hello, darkness, my old friend. So, um... Thought there was other stuff in here that I could check out. I guess not. So after a bit of badly referenced poetry, Howie, you're finally awake. You had me worried. You've been out for two days. Uh, what's happening, Larry? You're asking me, what the fuck is that thing on your back? <laughs> it just got into me. It's in me. Okay, calm down. We're under the bridge now, among friends. No one knows we're here. Um, how'd we get here? Through the sewers? Found you in the alley near a dead body, but there was no weapon or anything. You were totally out of it. So, did I kill Anatoly? Let's talk about this later, okay? You're gonna be alright. Better not to worry. It's this thing. He killed him. What do you mean? This thing. It pierced him. Howard, it's not your fault. Please, I want to help you. I'm so sorry. It's the thing on my back. Howard, calm the fuck down. You're fine. It's alright. We'll figure it out together. It's a bad dream. It's not real. It's honestly best if we don't talk about this right now. You're still in shock. I don't want to make it worse. You hungry? I, I don't think that the tumors are hidden by the scarf at all. Or you mean, you mean Larry. Larry's tumors. Yeah, it did give an option for the mattress, but apparently as soon as I hit the mirror, I lost that option, so. Okay, you've been in and out with a bad fever. What's that thing on your back? Well, what does it look like to you? Actually, it's an alien, Larry. Alien tumor growing from your spine? What the fuck, Howard? How does it feel? It's pulsating, dear me. I wouldn't know it was there if I hadn't seen it. What the fuck, dude? How did this happen? I was infected by an organism in a secret government lab. I'm um, sure you must still have a fever. How can I help? Eh, fucked it. Calm down. We're together and we're safe. I gotta get out of here. Warn who about what? This thing is not safe. So you're gonna go to somebody and tell... Hey, see this thing on my back? It's not safe. I came here to tell you about it. It's all connected. The minister, the secret labs. You're babbling. Take it easy. I've got to tell Renee everything. Larry, please. You're not going anywhere the state you're in. Who's Renee? Eh, she'd know what to do. Okay, let's take it one step at a time. Um, I hate both of these, so I'll just go if I'm scared. Sun will go down soon. We'll better get a fire started. Can you walk? Um, sure. I rustle up the starter fuel, get some firewood, ask people at the camp where to find it. Yeah, you, know, you mean me wandering around asking people for firewood while I've got this pulsating thing on my neck? Are there people out there? I'm a freak, Larry. You're not going to judge. Introduce yourself. Get to know them. This is a new home, after all. Under the boardwalk. <laughs> Introduce myself? What if I hurt someone? You won't. I'm alright. See? I gotta go run some errands away from camp. We'll make a plan together later. Sure, a plan. We'll figure this out as a team. I'll take care of you, but I need to go do a thing first. Now, go find some wood and make sure it's dry. Alright. So that was exceptionally fucked up. Hold on a fucking second. Is there a mime in this game? Uh, obviously not because he's talking. I'm Howard, nice to meet you. Hey Howard, I'm Casey. Uh, you like it here? Sure. I'll be around here for a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice meeting you. Yeah, I 
know the feeling. Alright, so nothing really to be said there at all. Hey everybody, look at the giant deformity on my back. Okay, hang on a second. Here's Dio. And I have a bad feeling about this, but let's see. Are you the Dio that messaged Rose? I'm searching for her and the other missing girls. For my partner Renee, she's an investigative journalist. Clarissa Bro uh, Bloodworth and her connection to the apes. Well, you're a shitty investigator then, how so? I'm a scavenger, I get people over the wall. Rose is safe. Clarissa is the one sponsoring the whole operation. She's alive, that's all I can tell you. What about Leslie Pham or My Louder? Leslie's with Rose, My didn't make it. She was shot on the way there. Shot by whom? What do you think, Border Patrol? We did what we could. Can't tell you more. Okay, what's over there? Not something I'd tell anyone. Well, can't you tell Florence? Kills me, but no for Rose's safety. She can't know one slip and that'd be it. Okay, well. So, Clarissa's funding. You already know that part. Ah, uh, and it doesn't give me a... Uh, yeah, she's a fucking murderer. I heard about that. I don't give two shits where the money comes from. As long as I can go outside and help people. So, you're you're in bed with cannibals, and yeah, that's absolutely fucked up. I'm not gonna discuss my moral compass with you. Get fucked if you don't like it. Yeah, you you get money from cannibals. You know, people who slice up uh, folks and feed them to uh, feed them to rich people for you know their their fucked up cult shit. So yeah. You don't have a moral compass. Yeah, well, that's all I need to know. See ya. Oh, where can I find some firewood? Okay. I'm not going to say it was um, good meeting them. Well, let's just say that I am really hoping that it's not a Tasmanian devil. Because if so, there's a really shitty person who's bought their way into this game. Or knows people who knows people. Not a fan of the psychotic violent types. Just saying. Yeah, keep on heading left. If I were to head left from where they were, I would be in the water. And here's a cut scene that I'm not really doing anything. You just, just sitting there. Got myself a, uh... So the artifact is talking. Death is coming to us all and no reason to be uncool about it. Well, I'm absolutely not cool about it. It's not like you have a choice. Of course I do. You sure? Yeah. Interesting. I know you better than anyone, and yet I can't tell if you're lying. And we were talking about the illusion of choice here. Hey, Bay. B. Hey, hey, new guy. Excuse me, but are you okay? I don't know. Okay, then. Just doing my scales. Can't talk. Toot you later. Hey, Larry. Got 
Wood. I see your sense of humor hasn't changed. Yeah, just, hey, go that way. What can I say? I'm your rock, steady and dependable. Hmm. Yeah, I never appreciated you enough. Yeah, it's nice of you to say, but so much has changed since we shared a bunk bed in the dorm. It's okay. I know. Wish you could meet Renee, though. Renee is the most important thing to you, isn't she? Eh, she's my partner and could be in danger. Doesn't seem like she's very trying very hard to find you, though. I already figured that Renee is working for Bloodworth. But my character can't figure it out, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, she has to be careful. She'll do everything. No, I'm sure she's got her reasons. Yeah, I like caring more about her comfort than your safety or whereabouts. Well, if we were doing this together, I can't go on without. So go find her. See if I care. What do you mean, see if you care? It's not personal. No, because it feels like you're always finding an excuse. To... How would it be ditching you to go find my partner? Just like back then when you wanted to live with a girl and I had to move out. What? I would never do that to somebody. Larry, I'm sorry for that, but this really is different. You're really wrapped up in some deep shit, huh? Nice mixed metaphor and yes. Can you write out? I mean, it really looks like you need a doctor. I don't think a doctor can help with what I've got. I know you're sick. Getting all worked up isn't going to help with whatever you got going on. I know, I know. Let's just chill. Yeah, let's chill by a nice warm fire. It's not a Duma. You again. You. Again. I am what I am. And that's all what I am. And Popeye the Sailor Man. You are what you are. I am my thoughts. And what are they made of? Whatever I decide. What is yours and what is theirs? You are created in the image of someone else. Someone else ex only exists inside of you. Endless cycle of creation. Brace yourself for the current. Yeah, sure, why not? You won't ever be ready. Change sweeps you away when you least expect it. I'm doing the, I'm not even doing the voice now. Then you'll change, but you'll change nothing. Yeah, I exist again. Apparently I uh, stop existing from time to time. Wake Larry up. What else have we got here? Go outside. Well, I guess I'll just wake Larry up. Hey, Larry. Yo, Larry. Larry. Uh, what time is it? I don't know. It's nice not knowing. Sleeping is nice, too. Yeah, I'm going for a wander around. Hang on. Can we have our chat first? What happened to you and what's our plan? Yeah, you want to know what happened? Bloodworth is killing people and apes eat them. What? Is that a metaphor? I followed the trail to Science City. They just let you in. I have my ways, but I touch something in there. Ergo, the new look. Fuck. You know I always got your back, but I'm out of my depth here. How can I help? Uh, I don't think getting meds will treat this condition. Can you track Renee Wilson down? I can ask around my usual contacts. I like the fact that you have basically this trash panda sleeping in a pile of trash. He, he doesn't even have his eyes open. He's carrying on this conversation. Okay, and he leads. She has a bolt hole near Alberni Street. I don't know the exact address. I asked my more snoopy friends to keep their eyes peeled. Young Fox. Young, pretty, usually wears green. You might owe some slightly unusual people a big favor, though. All right. Need to find a way to let people know what's happened. 
And then what? Even if they believe you. Uh, you mean what? The general public? Eh, I'll figure it out one step at a time. You say so. How about some meds? Uh, might as well. I don't know, man. I have a few sources, but do you even know what's wrong? Antibiotics could help. <laughs> Ask Roger, he's the doctor. Uh, find me some medicine, whatever you can get. Mm, well, let's see here. I think I, I can't treat whatever this is. Not right away, and I don't right away trust Renee, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be forced to, to look for her. So let's try and find and make an announcement. I know a rat once who ran a pirate radio station. I'll start with him. Yeah, you're a true uh, friend, Larry. I'm glad to be. Wish me luck. In the meantime, get to know folks. Maybe help prep the group dinner tonight. Are you sure I'm invited? Of course, you're one of us now. You should help them out while I'm gone. All right, see you later. Well, I'll just take my pulsating self outside and, you know, start rustling up some grub. Oh, hey there. How's it going, Roger? You're the doctor, right? That's convenient. I'm Roger Batty. Wait, really? Are we gonna be eating noodles in the rain here? Hey, I'm Howard. Uh, forgive me for being blunt. I, I, how the fuck would I do that voice? Dolph Lundgren from Blade Runner. That was Dolph Lundgren, wasn't it? Never seen anything like it. Um, never seen anything like that. I'm not sure it's complicated. Oh, you don't sound too good yourself. Yes, I'm rather afraid of coming down with a respiratory condition. Serious? Nah, nothing. A few botanicals and some breastbone fix. Can I help? It'd be very kind of you. I've got my hands full with everyone else's request. Is there a plague? No, gosh, nothing like that. Just the usual aches, pains, gripes, niggles, and... Can you say niggles in a video game? It's 2021! It's current year! You can't use the word niggles! And Ryan's neurotic belief that he has every illness on record. So what about this guy on the couch? Um, okay. So what do we do? Cup of tea, need some herbs. Foresty area and on the farm. Herb time. Okay, Calendula, thyme, and sage. Well, I know of a forested area this way. Hey, kid, hustle. Come on, man, let's go. Come on, move it. Couple of folks just making out or something. Ah, Calendula. Time. What's with the kid? So, what the fuck is that thing under your back, alien? Are you gonna die? Not until I've done my job. I want a job. Got something in mind? I don't know. I want to be useful, taken seriously. You mean here or in the city? I don't know. The city is scary, but it's so small here. Eh. Bigger is definitely not better, unless pie. Facts, man. Spilling them. Cool, I'm just gonna chill here. Don't tell Dad I'm smoking. I can do with the smoke, I guess. 
Sure you go, huh? Cool, thanks. You happy here? Bit lonely, best place for me. Where would you rather be? Don't know. Not seen anything better, but there aren't many folks my age here. Why are you even here? Trouble in the city for us? Why? Don't want to talk about it. Okay. Dad doesn't know you smoke? I don't think so. He wouldn't like it. Eh, he's a doctor. You get on with the old fella? I mean, sure, it's not like we do loads together. He's always helping others. Kind of separate people. Yeah, I could have done with a dad like that. What was yours like? Absent once he didn't come home for four days. Ah, fuck. So you get to your dad. Sounds like he's a good guy. Sure, don't be a snitch. Well, if he's just gonna sit there and smoke, and I can't do anything else. All right, we've got two of the herbs that I need. Anything else showing up? Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to Dio again. Uh, I woke up this morning. Looking for some sage. Groaning in me? Sure, basically a perennial here. What you got in mind? Helping Roger with his cough. Ah, uh, his tea. Sure. Exactly. Thank you. Here, I'll cut you a few stems. Yep, there, there starts, uh, there starts the nagging. Well, he knows I'll kick his ass if he doesn't. Yeah, that sounds like Dio. Well, uh, don't feel like helping a psycho. I'm working on it. Unfinished business. Most of us do. Sometimes best to just let that old life go. I'm not sure I can do that. It's clinging to me right now. Alright. So you up to much today? Now oh, what makes you tired? Chronic fatigue syndrome. Imagine not, not just never knowing when you'll need an emergency nap. Does napping help? Not much. Want some company? If you're not busy, don't notice things with me, tell me what's on your mind or don't. Yeah, I think I need that. So we're gonna, what, sit here and talk for a while, or that was it? Let me see about getting the herbs to the gen first. Make a cup of tea. I sure do make a lot of tea in this game. Um, apparently I already made the tea. Still hanging out in the woods. Oh yeah, doing what? Looking at birds and trees? Ah, he's good, despite his dad. Got your tea. Hope it helps. All right, now let's see Carla here. You must be the Howard my little ones keep bothering me about. I'm sorry about what's ever happened to you. Happening. This is Hugo and Esme. I always get excited when there's someone new in camp. You don't mind me being around the kids? I know you're poorly, bubs. But what kind of mom would I be if I told my kids you were afraid? Well, I am. Yeah, they'll figure it out themselves. <laughs> now, now, I don't see my bubbas to judge. I'm literally covered with tumors from an alien infestation that God knows whether it's 
Yep. You don't know what this what this could do. This is not judging. It doesn't have to do with scorn. It has to do with a plague carrier. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. It really does look terrible. I mean, it's not the prettiest. Is it painful? Thank the shepherd for small mercies. Yeah, that's your eyes. You look like you're ready to take on the world. Damn right I am, but the father didn't leave me deliberately. Well, what happened? He passed away. Yeah, it's it's not... <laughs> Yeah, shit does happen. Uh, the poor kids. Could be worse. The puppets have a big family to bounce around. People help out. I feel lucky considering. Tell me about the puppets. Esme is destined to be a singer, and she decides not to. Hugo lives in Esme's shadow. Time will tell. Okay. All right. Ryan. Hey, Harry. Hi there, Brian. Ryan, don't forget it. Listen, you want in on this action? Where are you from? Proud to have lived in West Bend. Now we're just off Granville. Right, so you told everyone you were from the village. I didn't tell people shit, not their business. Doesn't matter, all that status shit is nonsense. True that, thinking it's subtle here though. I don't know, early days. Yeah, let's play. Um, okay, I... Yes, playing was not actually an option. Mm. Don't know, can't tell. The chaos of life is often seen, rarely felt, and goddamn this is loud. to bear from his meditations on modern tragedies. I'm in some of those modern tragedies he speaks about. Ah, uh, well, at least tonight should be jolly. Always good to get the old gang together. Alright. What did you leave behind to come here north? Oh, you know, the usual pile of debts, bundle of regrets, assortment of useless junk, and too many books. Hey, you can never have too many books. Oh, I think I had too many books. Now I don't have enough. Why did you have so many books? Did you have any of the Horatio Hornswoggle and the Diamond Bride series? I had everything apart from Horatio Hornswoggle. That's for kids. It's nostalgic. I'd love to read it again. You stick around. We'll see if I can rustle you up a coffee. Coffee. Why'd you have so many? I was a librarian. Professionally, I mean. But my house was like a library, too. But yes, books are my love. Well, maybe you can start a library here. Thought about it. Storage is an issue. But reading is a sacred endeavor. I think the folks here would benefit from a little curation, shall we say. Well, I have a donation to make. Oh? This year's smash thriller hit, Kill Me If You Can. It's thrilling, probably. Okay. Friends with Ryan? Could say that. So, friendly banter, I see. Yes! Ryan supplies the banter, I'll supply the erudition. Oh, I better get knowing then, going then. Hmm, I like him. Oh, hello, Bay. You're cheerful. I 
met a Streety once. He said it was chill here. Ah, uh, yeah, we know Looney. Bit of a renegade, good at heart. I don't think he was right about this place. There's a crab in your tuba. There actually is. There's a crab in the tuba. You mean Andre? Why is there a crab in your tuba? Because he wanted to get a bigger house, I guess? Who knows with these crab folks? Oh, how long, how long has he lived in there? A couple of years? He just moved in one day. Doesn't seem to mind the noise, so I thought, why not? Well, doesn't he affect the sound? Yeah, I would have liked to see that. It's like a, a few rounds of Go Fish or something. They're sitting down playing cards, he invites you to play cards, it actually ends the conversation, but no cards. Okay, so, Crab Tuba. That's your signature sound, it's Crab Tuba. Yeah, what's he eat? Yeah, about anything. Favorite is carrot. Mm, wanna play some together? Always up for a friendly jam. Got anything I can play? I'll get the harmonica for you. Yay, musical change. actually the same key that my own harmonica is in. He plays better than I do. Okay, so I can engage her in more conversation. I've uh, been playing long. All of my life is an extension of me. Yeah, you play beautifully. How are you taught? Parents got me lessons, hated the teacher. So in the end, I just taught myself. Yeah, pretty impressive. Don't miss your past life? Eh, what's the reason, or do you want to tell me? I don't know yet. I might never know. Okay, better get going. Hey, Quacker. Just chilling with the geezer. are fine. You just have to know how they operate. So, uh, hey, Howard, ready for dinner? Everything okay? You look worried. No, no, gosh, I'm fine. Let's just sit by the fire and enjoy our family dinner. Where's Larry? Does he often miss dinner? He has a history of substance. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Yeah, it's not a history. He's still wired up, and we already know that from earlier. I'm afraid it's rather it's I'm afraid it's a present issue. Yeah, I'm gonna say he went to the city to help. Perhaps he did, but he's liable to be forgetful when he's procuring his fancies. Well, I'll talk some sense into him. You're welcome to try. I'm sorry you didn't know. Try and enjoy dinner. Is he getting the loons for a habit? Not sure. As far as I know, he's never asked any of us for it. Nothing's been stolen. Yeah, I'll get through to him. If anyone can do it, it's me. You'd be a hero. Heroes need full stomachs. Shall we eat? Let's do it. Well, to be perfect.
perfectly honest, it's probably easier to have a little bit of a jam session for a minute or so than it is to code a card game. Well, there's, there's Larry. I guess Larry was able to make it to dinner after all. but I can't find my harmonica to join in. find my harmonica I could found my gun cleaning kit but not the harmonica also what the hell okay cutscene really it, he came with a gun honestly So dude just shows up with a gun. Show us yourself. What have you been? What are you? What have you aspired to become? I am a person. I am what others see in me. Half of that's true. But that is not true. That is also not true. So I'm going to go with the half truth. That is just a small fraction of your externalized identity. What does it mean to truly show someone every facet of what makes you you? Well, since I don't actually consider somebody else's viewpoint to determine what is me, 
it's a loaded question, and I'm already down a philosophical road that I fundamentally disagree with. Um, everything shifts and changes. There is no me. That's a lie. This is impossible. I don't even know what I am. How could someone else? That's a lie to reach out to demand them to examine me to look through their eyes at my own humanity. That's down the same road. It's still half bullshit, but half bullshit's better than 100% bullshit. Love yourself through the love of others. Know yourself through the small rituals of truth. We're all one breathing unison. Yeah, that's garbage. We are, we are, we are, blah. So... Again, having choices dictated that I fundamentally disagree with and don't apparently have any say in. Hey, toilet. At least it's not a bucket. Really? That was, that was it? Ventilation. Oh, this looks like the inside of a shipping container. With a camera inside. Can't see anything through the keyhole. Yep, there we go. Hey there. Sup, Clarissa. You're awake. Your turn to make the tea. All this technology here, no kettle. My apologies. Well, why did you hunt me down? And what is this thing inside of me? It's a symbiotic organism that splices its own genetic code with the host and rapidly expresses the new code. And now in my hands it's safe. That's bullshit. Yep. No one I've dealt with has been truly innocent. Bullshit! It doesn't matter if they're 100% innocent of anything altogether. You're still a mass murderer. So, in my family, extreme measures are expected. Yes, because you come from a crime family where murder is common. Yeah, you're just making excuses. You're not ready to see the world through my eyes. I don't care to see the world through your eyes. Yeah, fuck you, Clarissa. So I thought it was listening in, but I'm actually being directly talked to. can run test, of course. Yeah, the minimum would be none. stand on it to get the ventilation. Um, what's that smell? Ah, uh, great, I'm being gassed. This is becoming more and more 
annoying as I have virtually no options or decisions to make. Okay. There is no us and there is no we, but I don't have the opportunity to say anything different. straight up philosophical horseshit. I don't know. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting close to the end of the game without actually playing the game at this point. Page fell out. Take a look. Yeah, this thing is not a part of me no fucking way. Yeah, they may disagree, so do I. user how work blark you got something for me Howard if this reaches you I am where I found you on your ass at nine every night I showed the user your photo told them to check the the unusual places 
Sorry I didn't come back the day I was being followed. I'm worried about you. I've asked around, but you're holding out on me. Am I? Hope we can have tea together again soon. I do have a blank page. safe and I got a feather out of it all right incidentally inventory what the hell oh come on no continue coward please eat keep your strength up okay first of all inventory I want to take a look at this again So I still have the herbs, I still have the wood? A gossip magazine. 10 tips to getting fit while doing housework. A lame mug I stole from someone powerful. Wow, I still have all of this on me, but not the gun. Why would I have all of this, but not the friggin' gun? Soup. I hate soup. It's a piece of bread and some butter pack butter and packets too. Okay, first of all, look at the soup. This will keep me alive, but it might destroy my will to live. Why? Soup is fine. Thick, bland, and somehow grainy. How do you fuck up soup? Yes? So your name is Bell. Yeah, so all you had to do was work for somebody who's selling food, uh, selling people to cannibals. What are you talking about? What, why would she do that? You're a scientist, you can work it out. Wow, you're in love with her. You need to stop with this lesser evil shit. I was a slave to society, as opposed to being a fucking cannibal enabler. Watch, it's going to be another one of those, not everybody's innocent. No, I'm working to improve the lives of the realists. You literally chop people up and feed them to other people. Sample running it through a centrifuge.
We have not been anything. Yeah, just soak the bandage with water. I'm sure that'll do something. Actually, I have an idea of what to do with it. It's a uh, classic trick, assuming that it even works. Stained and stiff with blood. My blood. Well, nothing else to do but listen in. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm actually running a lot longer on this than I figured I would. Overcooked fish and undercooked rice. should be going to inventory and putting that over my mouth, which it doesn't give me the option to um, interact with anything. So, yep. That's the only option I'm going to have. There's nothing else I can interact with, and there's no other choices that I have. So, guess what? just going to give me the keys? She's going to give me the keys to open the door to leave. Why? So far, this is just looking very fucked up. Also, I would like to kill this person here. So deliberately causing pain to see what the threshold was. Great. Healing factors of motor control. In other words, causing deliberate wounding.
Why is that 420 kilobytes for that much information? That would suggest a an attached file of some kind. Because no way in hell is that 420 kilobytes. Okay, so is she infected or something? Because she's saying things like we as well. Like she's been inf infected by the artifact. Which would, which would explain why she willingly lets you out once you trick her. Epilogue. Um, epilogue is after the close of a story. That wasn't the close of a story. Also, I don't want to play Clarissa, but okay, whatever. So Suze is a she, okay. Eh. There's still Lagoon as far as I'm concerned. I don't care if they're rapists, abusers, and wife beaters. None of that is a capital offense. 
none of that is something that you murder people over. Unless, of course, you are the victim defending yourself. And you weren't. You are a murderer. I didn't kill just anyone, just people I felt it was okay to kill. Go to prison, that's the next step. There hasn't been enough said about the wall, except that it exists. Oh, and I had a tunnel built. <laughs> Well, it, it, you, you just tunnel under the wall, it's that easy, and it never gets detected, nobody finds it. Like you're the only one who ever would have done that. Okay, you already... Mm. Let's see here. How exactly do you think things will improve when they're not in power? Um... Women won't have to murder their way into a life of comfort. They already don't have to in your society. You have not shown that there's any imbalance between the sexes. Uh, let's see here. Women are dying. People are dying from poverty. Women are dying at the hands of men. What? And of course, men are dying at the hands of women, as you've demonstrated throughout this entire game. Okay, number three is the only non-stupid option. Um, yeah, revolutions, when they happen, they're going to be sudden. They just... that You don't have slow revolutions. You either have one or you don't. What military? You have a military for what reason? You have police because you're a state, a city-state. But there's no indication because of the wall that you have any outside enemies. You don't have a fucking military. Lofty ambition for a murderous drug pimp. You already have power, why risk it on something like this? So women can rule the- You already do! It's not real power. I want the real thing. Freedom. Uh, revenge, peace, absolution. Let's go with that. For you or the people of the city. Both. You get to change the world. Maybe for the worse. So much of this conversation is stupid and seems to be predicated on social factors that haven't been demonstrated anywhere in the game, but are lifted from dogma which comes from the real world, from particular political movements that wouldn't be present in this game. Have you considered you may be delusional? I'm sure men have called you that. Well, basically anybody might call her that. But you didn't listen, what, just to men? What the hell is wrong with you, lady? What makes you think that common sense or courtesy or anything else is gender-based or based on your sex? Things are getting worse quicker than you know. Well, Bloodworth, this has been delightful. Oh, you even used the wrong side of history line. That's great. Yeah, I'm not going to use that line.
Uh, I, I think maybe, I think that might be the thing. Um, if it is, it's a really harebrained and ham-fisted attempt. Because there's no parallel. And their wall wouldn't have anything to do with immigration. It would have to do more with the way the Soviet Union had the border uh, of the wall in, in, uh, in Germany, splitting East and West Germany back in the day. That wall was to keep people in. They shot people trying to leave. Everything in the game so far has indicated there's nothing beyond the wall except dangers, ruins, destruction. Not people trying to get in. There's no indication of, of, hey, we don't want immigrants in here. There's nothing like that. So how the hell would it even be an immigration thing? <laughs> I, just, I mean, if that's what they're shooting for, it's, it's goddamn. The, the writing hasn't been terrible up to this point. There were a couple of things that I would have considered missteps and ham-fisted, which I commented on earlier in this screen, but if this is where they're going with it, I would have to recommend against this as being badly written. And the writing is the only thing going for it. I mean, I like the aesthetic. I am a furry, long-time furry. I, I'm, I'm big on that. So I'm all for that. I like the music. You know, the soundscapes are great, but so far this has been more of an interactive novel where you don't have many choices that you can make down the line. It's an extremely linear story. And if it's a story so linear with such a bad ending to it, well, let's hope that they pull it out. Let's hope that they turn away from the abyss I am, I am not hopeful, but let's stick this out. Boss, Renee at last. It's been easier to get a table for two at Dorsha than to get a hold of you. The invitation is still open, by the way. The oysters are to die for. Well, I'm here now. How's the latest draft of the chapter on my department coming along? Okay, so... Yeah, her boss is the science guy, isn't it? That chapter is the only reason you care about this book. Is it so wrong I have a vested interest in allowing you the freedom no one else would give you, I might add, to explore your literary interests? And again, there's, there's no choice here. Uh, I'm done. Can't write this book anymore. Time to explore your own literary interest. I don't want to be working for people like you anymore. They're all I quit statements. I'm just going to go with the snarkiest. I'm not sure I understand whether you're making a joke or suffering from one of your episodes. I must say I'm in no mood for games today. Um, you'll never let this book tell the real truth. I'm tired, it's time to move on. I've had a better offer, I quit. There's no such thing as the truth, you petulant bitch. Yes, there is, you asshole. I paid you for a book and I'll damn well get one. Well, then get it from someone else. Do you really think you can survive without me? Yeah, I'll be fine on my own. Renee, you're nothing without me. You had one failed book and now the chance for greatness. You'll have you'll never have someone like me on your site again. Well, someone else can finish the book. I don't care. How about I didn't realize your ego was quite so fragile. I thought you were a fool, but clearly you're suicidal. Very well. See how you like me as an enemy rather than your patron. Great. This is good material for my next book. Next book, don't delude yourself. You're a pampered-filled writer with no idea how the world really works. I only regret I didn't do this sooner. Yeah, I'm expecting her to be killed. Window, a beautiful day outside, is it? Sofa, no time to relax. I see the cork board's done. Howard's letter has arrived.
Okay. So just pondering over the letter, but no real choice involved. And we'll go with the green tea. Same one he made for me. I do miss him. Because I'm the guy who played him. Tea time. No sippy. All right. And apparently no other options. Call Howard's mom. Yeah. Look, the thing is, let, let's let's start off with that right there. It's like, yeah, it's not like she could prove all the people she killed were actually as bad as she says. Even if they were, she's talking about things like, oh, you got somebody who's a wife beater. Okay, domestic violence. We don't line people up against the wall and shoot them for that. We certainly wouldn't cut them up into into uh, cutlets and serve them to other people for that. And none of the things that th that she was talking about are capital crimes. Maybe, maybe to an uber feminist they should be. Notice that all of the crimes she was talking about were against women. You know, a wife beater. Well, what about a husband beater? Do you do you chop her up and serve her up too? No, because it never happens. No, no. I think it's more along the lines of uh, she didn't give a shit because she's a rabid third wave feminist. Yeah, expecting a sniper, huh? Come on, come on, Renee. You can do this. But I, I want to go back to the bit where you're initially hired by Odette to look into her husband. So what's her husband doing? He goes to the bite. And what is he doing at the bite? He's cheating on his wife, that's it. He's not beating his wife. He's not raping anybody. He's not abusing anybody. He's partaking in the services provided willingly by these girls and they drug him, murder him, and son him to be eaten by other people. There's there's no moral high ground here. Beep, beep. What am I going to tell her? Well, it's my duty. Wing it like he always did. Uh, come on. Helen Lotor, my name is Renee Wilson. This is concerning your son. Ah, we are here. Interesting that we now have a gray background. Um, well, I hate the stupidity, but okay. What's the use in questions when the answer is all the same? It's not. The end is built into the beginning. We come into existence and we come out of it. Well, the answer is all the same when you write the story like that. We were once a baby. We used to be a man. choice the choice is made there is no choice this is just literally clicking through the story oh somewhere I thought that was the epilogue somebody doesn't know what an epilogue is also I can't go backwards so this is literally just me pushing the a key to move from right to left I gather this is me beyond the wall. And I suppose we're going to get the reveal here on what happened to the world and why there are furries in it. 
I've already, I think I've already figured out what all that is. All, all the clues are really already there. You have all these uplifted animals and humans died in a massive nuclear war. And Vancouver's one of the only places that survived. But not for humans, only for the animals. Very swampy, dirty, low ground. Yeah. And there you go. Starting to see the uh, images of the ruins. As the fog burns away and we see what we already figured out. like that train station in Fallout New Vegas. Oh, by the way, nope. Don't even have access to uh, inventory. Nothing. So I had all that inventory for no apparently good reason. And I just walk on until, um, I guess I explode and die. Or transmute into something else. Or don't. Ah, oh, backbone. So named because the last thing that appears in the story is the backbone of the character. The valley was the troop in the brown gathering, putting valley on me, living in peace with the enemy. The next war is already over and will never appear. No more fear. Keep getting older, but stay sober. Okay, so about seven hours of play. Well, six. Is ready to go for it. Six and three quarters hours of play in a very. Uh, a very linear game with very few actual choices. I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's much in the way of replay value here at all. I've ever played a game from start to finish in a single sitting. bad feeling that the Dio who showed up in this game is um, is an actual domestic terrorist. A real world domestic terrorist. Yeah, so uh, at this point I actually want my money back. I'm not gonna get my money back, obviously. I played the entire game through. 
down below. But I was really looking forward to this because I played the um I played the prologue to the game months and months and months ago. And I was very impressed with how it initially was set up. But it's like most of the things that you can actually count as gameplay or puzzles that you would find in any other adventure game, those are all in the prologue. After that, it's like it goes on rails. I, I don't think it's possible to lose this game. I, I You would think so. Ugh. People who made it past the wall. Also, they're talking about um, the bear chick having dug a, a tunnel under the wall. So she very clearly has people coming and going. You know, she is working with Dio to smuggle people out under... Why do you even have to smuggle people out? If they don't know about the tunnel... What, where's the smuggling that's involved? There's the, there are no guards who show up. There's no police who show up in the game. There's no evidence of a police state. And we don't even find out why these people were, were engaging in cannibalism. There's only a couple of suggestions that, well, they, uh, they're, they're part of this ancient cult and they're, they're eating flesh as cannibal. Why, we don't know. They just are. Oh, they're eating the poor. Oh, okay, why are they eating the poor? Well, because they're rich and that makes them evil. Okay, no, why? Why is any of this shit going on? It, oh, God. It, it ended on such a shit note. Such bad writing there. And once again, it's one of these, uh, one of these story-driven games that ends without answering half of the questions they raise in the game. Central core questions to the narrative that they're trying to tell. There are actually people here in, in the credits that I recognize, like Squam. Um... Squam had, has done some artwork for me, for example. You know, there, there's actually a bunch of people in here that I know from furry fandom. And it looks to me like the fandom was basically preyed upon to turn out something that is artistically good, but literary, in terms of literature and gameplay, is just meh. Actually, the, the writing is just terrible. Especially since so much of it is reliant on modern day real world political ideologies that don't mesh with the world that they're talking about. They don't seem to have any basis. You got this. You, you got this. Uh, this bear. Go, this what female bear going? Oh, I'm doing this to liberate women so that they can do things that men don't think they can do. There's no indication that any such bigotry exists in this world. There's there's no systemic oppression of women. Any time you see. Yeah, it, uh, you you can go into the like the, the the big science building, right? The 17 story skyscraper with uh, oh, with fewer than 300 people living in it, and there's female researchers there. They're not treated any differently. There's no indication anywhere in their society that there is systemic discrimination against women, but that's how she acts. That's how she talks. I just like, yeah, no identification with actual person and products is intended or should be inferred, but you actually put some people from the real world into it, and you tried to make them the heroes. 
Yeah, the the indication is that the world has been nuked because the um, the parade that you're seeing, you know, when you first get infected and you have this fever dream involving the parade, looks like there's nuclear hellfire going on. And yeah, well, we only see one small part of the outside world. Maybe that area is particularly destroyed, but... Okay, you go through the entirety of the credits and there's nothing. It's just new game settings, quit. Okay, quit. Yes. I, I am sad to say that I actually even bought the DLC for this thing. Although I'm not seeing the DLC in here, I've seen the original Backbone Prologue, which I played way back. Gen last played January 20th, 2020, so over a year ago. I've been waiting for this game for over a year. Playtime, 6.8 hours. Start to finish. Less than seven hours of fucking content. And I don't see the DLC in here at all. There's something supposed to be additional to this. Is it possible that the DLC just like added a chapter? What the hell? Okay, what he even said right there, hang on. Newly acquired DLC has been automatically installed. It's the words DLC. Yeah, I don't care about the developer playing the game. What does it even say? I am not even seeing anything here for what it's supposed to add. Okay, it features a director's script for background that allows you to take a peek at the development process. Well, this script used to be a living document. Um, okay, so what I got was the, I shelled out for the design document. All right. I shouldn't have. Um, uh, well, I'm going to write me a review on this thing now, and I think that's going to end my stream for today. That was... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it is. I mean, there were a lot of good parts to the game, but it's really not helped by the shoehorning of real-world politics. It's not helped by posing all these unanswered questions. And even when you do see Beyond the Wall, all it really is is the reveal of what you knew was coming. I mean, you saw the human skull in the science center, and they're like, we don't know what this is. We've never seen this species before. Well, you're all uplifted animals. And then they say, like, oh, well, we, we've got the artifact. What's the artifact? It's some goop that is a self-recombinating DNA thing. I have no idea. No idea. I just, I lost interest because... From that point on, it's just it's just a quick fest. You're not making decisions. For most of the game, you're not making decisions. So, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I'm, all I'm doing is just carrying on, on ranting. So, uh, Eldritch, thanks for sticking through to the end. And I'm just ending the stream here. And that was Backbone. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Man. Yeah, a good backflip straight into a face-first belly flop right there. <laughs>